Hello everybody, Element12 here, and welcome to the Element Cast, the monthly update podcast where I deliver fresh information straight to your eardrums. Today I'm joined with... Hi everybody, this is Carlos Captunis Barajas. Ooh. All right, and now for the quick channel update. Um, I have not had a video on the channel since, like, my birthday. <laughs> Because I've had a little bit of issues getting people together. Like, I've gotten people emailing me like, where's more Phoenix Wright? We want more Phoenix Wright. It's like, the problem with Phoenix Wright is I need to get, there's like two other people involved, not just me. Like, if it was just me, I'd just record every single episode of Phoenix Wright just in one big freaking blast. But there's two other people I have to, like, manage with their schedules. One of them schedules very, very loose, so I can, she's not a problem. But the other one, Professor Russell, um, his schedule is really awkward. So, like, I can only schedule during certain weeks. And because of my birthday being last week, it was kind of weird. To, we couldn't really schedule anything soon. So, hopefully, this weekend or the weekend afterwards, I might get some more Phoenix Wright done. Um, I have a few episodes left in the vault that I haven't uploaded yet. I'm going to start uploading those soon. In the meantime, I'll probably upload a few other, like, series that I've started and haven't quite get a chance to finish yet. Maybe Mad Father. Who knows? I'm scared to play that game after I was traumatized by it last time I played it. So, I'm going to give it a shot again, though. Let's see what happens. Um, I might do a random thing. I got a lot of games for my birthday, so I might try to play one of those. I'm thinking of maybe playing Tales of Phonia because that's, like, one of my favorite games of all time. So, I'd love to play that on the channel. Um, I'm working on a big Minecraft hardcore thing that might be coming up later, but I don't want to get too much details into that right now i'll have more information coming down the road i'll let you guys know what's going on later for that one um for now that's about it when it comes to updates but um for now we're just going to talk about fun stuff that happened this month so um first of all how are you doing today i'm doing fine i'm trying not to melt in this hot california weather oh, i know <laughs> Friggin' today was a ah oh, today was so hot. <laughs> but um, uh, my uh my box set of Teen Titans Go season one came in. Ooh, Teen Titans Go. I think I've only watched like maybe two episodes of Teen Titans Go. Like I you know I love the, the original Teen Titans, but I wasn't a big fan of Teen Titans Go. I I wasn't a big fan at first, but I've watched some some like episodes recently. Mm-hmm. And they were actually hilarious. I was like, oh shit. Like, it looks like the earlier ones aren't as funny. Yeah, because I, I watched, like, the, the, I watched like, ones, the first two episodes and I was like, uh, nah. <laughs> like, there was like one scene in one of them that was just had me rolling mm -hmm. where um, they ended up trashing the Batcave. <laughs> and like, Robin's all freaking out because he's like, Batman's gonna murder me. What are we gonna do? And it's like, and then Robin's like, you know what? You know what? I'm a I'm a grown I'm a grown adult now. I don't have to worry about Batman. He's not the boss of me. I'm I'm not scared of him. I'm not intimidated by him. And then like he sees like Batman's shadow <laughs> and he starts freaking out like a little baby, like, Don't kill me, Batman And it's like just it's uh Beast Boy move yeah. he's he's moving the suit by like a light. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, dude, just I'm not I'm just fixing the suit. And he's like, Oh, okay. He was like Jeez, you are scared of Batman. And he's like, ah. and he's like, you know what? Screw this. And then like Robin just takes out like a can of spray paint, and he just spray paints on the wall. Joker was here, <laughs> ha ha ha. And then he runs away. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I I might have to give that a shot again later. Yeah. So, but um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff happened this month. Um, a few interesting video game things. One of the things is um. There's a lot of stuff like I don't know if you've been looking too much in like the Hyrule Warriors game. I I look at it every once in a while because you know, I'm not really that big into uh, the Dynasty Warrior franchise or uh, I play I play my occasional Zelda. Like I I've seen like w the recent updates where they show like this character oh, yeah. and this character has been revealed. Yeah, there's a like, lot of okay. there's a lot of new characters that I'm like really excited about. Like mm -hmm. the recent three they just announced was like Darunia. Uh, Princess Rudo and Sheik. Right. And they both, they all three of them look, oh, Darunia looks really freaking overpowered. Like, he can just, like, but, roll around, just roll into people and crap. But isn't Sheik basically Princess Zelda? Yeah, just a different form of Zelda. Just using different abilities. Yeah, so in this game, are you gonna have both Sheik and Zelda? I 
That's actually a good question. I'm not really sure. Apparently, they announced that the official story of the game is that the worlds of Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword have collided together. And they need and Link and Zelda need to fix the timelines. That's basically what the story is. <laughs> Still no sign of a of a Hyrule Warrior version of a uh, of Tingle. Nope, not yet. Oh, <laughs> you know that'll be a that'll be an Easter egg right there. Yeah, he's he's like... gonna be in the game hidden somewhere. I have a feeling. <laughs> but that's a lot of characters. They announced like Fee from Skyward Sword. Yep. And um, I think, yeah, Midna they announced a long time ago. And they also announced Agatha. Princess Agatha from Twilight Princess. Mm-hmm. Which I was literally like, who? Because <laughs> I played like little to no Twilight Princess. Mm-hmm. And my, I have a friend who's like, who played Twilight Princess like crazy. He's like, oh, that's the random lady you give bugs to. And I'm like, oh, is she an important character? And she, he's like, no, she's a side quest character. And I'm like, then why is she an important playable character? And he's like, I don't know. They're running out of characters. Yeah, like, Next week, they'll announce the guy from Majora's Mask that you sell, the, the mask seller. Oh, the mask salesman. Yeah, the mask salesman. I want the kid from Wind Waker with the booger. <laughs> oh, that kid? Yeah. I love that kid the, with the runny nose. Yeah, the runny nose. That'd be an epic freaking play- character. I love that kid. He just follows you around like, Link, <laughs> Link. Like, You're my hero, Link. <laughs> Like, for his attacks, he'll just, like, spin around and, like, combo people with his snot. Actually, speaking uh, around the lines of of Wind Waker, I kind of want to see Tetra. Even though, again, that's technically Zelda as well. Right. It's another iteration of Zelda where she's, like, a pirate, so she would have met more using, like, a... Like, kind of, like, the, the Cutlass and, like, using a more, like, bombs kind of thing. Right. Like, I, get, I imagine that being, like, a fun kind of gameplay. There's no real sign of anything from, like, Wind Waker at all, so I don't really know. Also, well, you can see it, costumes from all three games where you can get Link and Zelda's look from Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, and Twilight Princess. Well, if Hyrule Warriors does well, you know, without me, Hyrule Warriors 2, maybe then you'll have your uh, Wind Waker characters. There you go, yeah, I can buy more games. And, um, the thing that sucks is, like, in America, we're just getting kind of like a normal, ordinary release for it. But in mm-hmm. Japan, they're getting, like, these really crazy pre order releases for it. Like, there's, like, a... You can just get the game if you just want just the game. But there's, like, a second, like, tier where you can get the pre-order of the game. And it comes with, like, a bunch of DLC and a Triforce alarm clock. And then there's the highest tier, which is... It comes with all that, like, the DLC, the Triforce alarm clock. But it also comes with a treasure ch- a, tr- a big treasure chest you can actually use to, like, put stuff in. Mm-hmm. And it also comes with Link's, like, blue scarf that he wears in the Hyrule Warriors. So I'm like, why can't we get that? I want those. <laughs> That'd be super sweet. Also, a lot of cool like stuff. Like, there's a new trailer for Smash Brothers that came out this month, and it was uh, Lucina and Robin from Fire Emblem Awakening. Was that? I'm I'm super hype about that. I love Fire Emblem Awakening. I was surprised about Robin though. I was honestly surprised about Lucina myself because everybody was expecting Chrom, and the same way I was kind of expecting Chrom as well. When they picked Lucina, I was like, oh, okay, that's an interesting choice. But Robin, I wasn't expecting because, first of all, I didn't even know his name was Robin. Like, it's like, I know that, like, I always made, like, I just named him after, the tactician after my, like, just named myself. But I never actually knew if you didn't put a name, the default name was Robin, so. It's kind of fun just, like, look at the trailer, there's lots of cool, like, magic attacks that yeah, he can, he slash C can use. And, like, it looks like she can drop, like, the spells as, like, items, which is weird. Right. So I kind of want to see, like, if, like, there's a thing where, like, if you drop a spell book, but it's not used up all the way of other, like, enemies can, like, pick it up and use it. So, like, that seems like an interesting, like, idea they can do. And, um, also the fun thing is Sakurai did a little tease, because in the trailer she used, uh, or he, I guess, it's, it's both, you can use either. Um, he used a spell Nosferatu, which is a dark magic spell, which in the mm-hmm. game... Robin can't learn dark magic unless she's a different class. But in the trailer, she's clearly, like, the tactician class. So, like, she can't actually use dark magic. But Sakurai actually explained that, saying that, like, he knows that they can't learn dark magic, but he wanted to add that in there just for fun. But he also had, who knows, things we change in Smash Brothers might affect the actual franchise itself. So I wonder if he's actually hinting that there might be something new for the Fire Emblem in the works, so... That'd be kind of fun. 
So you're saying possibility next Metroid game, Samus will have the sexy uh, rocket boots then? But hey, that might be a thing as well. So, Because yeah. all he said was things we had to Smash Brothers might affect the actual franchises themselves. So we can have that. Um, we might have uh, Animal Crossing where the villager is a deranged serial killer. That might be a thing too. Because apparently, might that, be. That, that, I thought it already is. I guess so. <laughs> I guess what you think about it, yeah, it's kind of weird like that already. <laughs> but I, I love like the the psychotic villager memes that everyone like to make. <laughs> those are fun. I like Luigi's Death Stare. That's kind of my favorite. Oh, those those are the best. Right now, I love Luigi's Death Stare and made the actual news. Like I saw a news report about it, like on television. And I told my friends, like, he said, wow, it must have been a slow news day that day. <laughs> I always say, like, I want, like, a alternate for Luigi where he always has a death stare on his face. Just for Smash Brothers. Just have, like, an alternate color scheme where it's still his same color, but he just has a death stare at all times. <laughs> I or, like, that as, like, a thing. Or, like, at the victory screen at the end where everyone, <laughs> like... She'll just, like, looks over and just has a death stare to you. Yeah, like, everyone looks sad and disappointed, except Luigi. He just looks like he's gonna fucking murder you, because you won. Or if you, like, if you're playing as Luigi and you score a win, like, he gives a death stare as your opponent's, like, falling off the stage. It's like, yeah. I'm looking over the edge. Yes. <laughs> you fall. Remember, Mario, when I said I would kill you last? Yes! I lied! Oh! You promised you'd kill me last! I lied. Oh, no! <laughs> That's amazing. Now I just want to see Commando. She's under the point of view of Luigi. Who's like an ex-plumber who's just pissed at the world. <laughs> like, some of these make a Luigi gone postal game. He spent half his life toiling in people's shit. <laughs> now he won't be taking any more shit. Da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> He has, like, an axe. <laughs> he was, he's clubbing people to death with, like, his giant pipe hammer. You know, like pipe hammer, wrench. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bowser's like, ah, ha, ha. Looks like your brother has the same thing. And just, like, bash him in the skull with it. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! What are you gonna do now, Mario? I kidnapped the prince. And Luigi just comes in. I ain't got time for this shit. Bah! Oh, my goodness. I love a game where Luigi's just the, end of, just the villain. Super, the little, like, super dysfunctional little, Mario Brothers. The little Koopa kids come in and they're like, Dad, what did you do to her, Dad? This. And he just throws up a bomb at yeah. the kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like the castle's like, and he's like walking out of the castle and it's like exploding in the background. <laughs> it was like, like Koopas flying everywhere. Like it's like no. straight heads of like Goombas falling down the floor. <laughs> Mario's just in shock. He's like, Luigi, wh wh where are you going? I got a mansion full of ghosts I gotta take care of now. Next, brother. <laughs> he just, like, takes Peach and just, like, fucks her in the top floor of the mansion. I thought he would always bang Daisy. Daisy's his broad. Well, okay, he... Okay, Daisy is his bottom bitch. Or He's only maybe, have Daisy. Maybe he says, you know what? I'm sick of being number two. Now I'm taking... Two. Oh yeah. See, the thing is, is Daisy's always gonna be. And first of all, where the hell's Daisy been since like ever? Uh, like other than like sports games and racing games. Yeah, well, there, there you go, man. No, but like an actual like Mario Party game, yeah. Like, He's in the Mario Party. Yes, so, but I meant like an actual like platforming Mario game. Like the last game she's been in was like a Game Boy game. It's because story wise, she's basically just a palette swap. Uh, de uh, like Peach, Peach. yeah. yeah. Which they is... don't really give her any personality. Yeah, I wish we could. She got a little more personality. I do too. I prefer brunettes over blondes that, myself. I so... love Daisy. Daisy's cool. Yeah, I was like... like 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 Peach being like the really prim proper like oh you know Mario. I was kind of imagine Daisy being sort of like a tomboyish princess. Well, yeah, because that's how they usually portray her in, like, just, fan art yeah. and comics and stuff. Well, even, like, the games, like, the way she acts is a lot more just, like, go, like, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, see, that's why I'm, like, I don't know. I always get this opinion that, like, yeah, that 
Peach is kind of all very proper, kind of stuck up, yeah, maybe. I kind of a bit of too. Your cake. Oh. Yeah, like she's either she's very proper, very kind of stuck up, and kind of like, uh, like a princess, basically. And 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 kind of stupid, like you know, kind of like a ditz, you know. Mm-hmm. But but Daisy, Daisy t- seems down to earth. She seems cool. Like she seems like that's a chick you can hang yeah, out. She's a with, princess you can know? chill with. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really see a game where he's playing as Daisy, <laughs> just getting shit done. That's what I would like to see, like a, a super princess Daisy. Oh yeah, they made super princess Peach. Yeah, I have a copy of that game. Really? Yeah. I never played it. I wanted to play it so bad. It's 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 pretty fun. It's where you play as a an emotional as, wreck. Yeah, basically, you're powered by your uh, by your mood swings. <laughs> and her magical sept. She has a magical vibrator scepter. You know, she's she's powered by PMS. Sometimes she's angry, sometimes she's happy, and her rage actually comes into play. Yeah, sometimes she'll, like, she's... she'll cry enemies to death. Yeah, like there'll be like fire, walls of fire, and you just like you just cry. Yeah, and like it'll drown out the fire, and then when you're crying, you 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 run really fast because oh, yeah. maybe I don't know, maybe because you're crying, and no one wants to like stand in the way of a woman crying so. so she can just plow through enemies or through walls that were almost impossible to plow through <laughs> uh, when she's really pissed off she's burning with rage to the point where she's literally on fire <laughs> so yeah like and then I think when she's like when she's happy she's like almost light as a feather so she can oh, yeah. like she floats she floats <laughs> she's so floaty so, but yeah, actually, I, I played that game. It's actually not a bad game. Yeah, I've, I've, I've always wanted. To, I just never got a chance to pick it up because when I first heard about it, it's like that sounds kind of lame. But after after the years went by, it's like I kind of want to go back and play it. But it's like super expensive now. Cause, cause I got it for cheap. cheap. Where, I got it for like twenty three bucks. Oh, was it like recently or like a while back? Oh, I got it. I, this is a, I bought it just re, again recently because I had a copy back in the day. I had it for like twenty seven bucks. <laughs> And then, uh, and then I sold it oh. because I, I beat it. And then I just recently rebought it. Like within this year, I rebought it again because I just felt like playing it again. Ooh. And I, I got it, and it's, it's, it's cheap. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's a copy on like Amazon for like twenty bucks. Yeah, dude, it's, it's not bad. I'm gonna freaking buy that later. <laughs> yeah. Like that game was pretty ballsy because like her freaking like item is they basically almost flat out said it's basically a vibrator. It's a parasol, man. No, but the the vibe scepter. The item in the game, like they said, like, hey, you might find one in your mother's drawer. Really? She had a vibe scepter? Yeah, that's, that's how the powers came about, was the vibe scepter. I remember, like, she uses that parasol a lot. Yeah, it was that, called... that little umbrella. Yeah, thing. she had a talking umbrella in the game. Yeah, that was a thing that, that was a thing. But she had a thing called the vibe scepter, which was what gave her her powers. Ah. Because it says it goes off, of, it, it detects your vibes, and which is basically your emotions. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Like, um,. Have, did did you ever see the commercial I, for this game? I might have like a long time ago. Like the commercial is pretty unique because it's like it's almost like an army recruiting recruitment video, <laughs> but instead of like soldiers, there's like a drill sergeant like tell like running the soldiers through their you know the like an obstacle course, mm-hmm. but the obstacle course are all like little girls dressed like pin, like Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, for this upcoming mission, you have to train harder. Run faster, leap higher to save Mario. And it's like you see like the girls like climbing rope and they're like going through the junk like the monkey bars and it's like and it's like train yourself to be a true super princess. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that commercial now. Yeah, that was a fun commercial. Yeah, and I was like, that's oh, pretty interesting commercial, you know. It's it's literally one of the few games out there that um that will be. I, well, no, I think she still hates it too. I was gonna say it's one of those few games that probably will be actually approved by uh, Nita Sarkeesian. No, no, she but, probably hates it. I she... But I, I, I think she, she hated yeah. it honestly. Because it's a, it's a sexist way of viewing women is that they only have emotions and that they're emotional wrecks or whatever. Yeah. Look, you, I, I, I don't think she'll off. ever be happy. No. I don't know. I don't know if this is true or not. I've heard people tell me this. I just, I never actually googled it. I might just google it real quick. But um, people tell me that she's working on the new Mirror's Edge. Okay. Or, I don't know. Somebody said that like Anita Sarkeesian is supposed to be like somebody who's like helping write the story because okay. they don't want the story to be sexist. Right. So somebody said that. I don't know how true it is though. Like if somebody said that, like she's helping it because um yeah I'm going right now um. 
Yeah, it says she, yeah, it says right here. It's true. Yeah, she's helping the game because she likes the franchise, and she says um, she doesn't want it to be sexist. Right. Also, you know, at the end, but, at the end of the day, um, this is not a slant against her. Mm-hmm. I just want to say, like, uh, I. I don't really like her editorials. Yeah. Not because it's like, oh, I, I, oh, I'm whatever. Or Women, anything like yeah. that. I just feel sometimes, not always, I'm not saying always because I haven't read all of her editorials. Yeah, I haven't read either. But from a lot of the ones I did see, she uh, she doesn't do a full investigation yeah. of the of the subject matter. Now, I know that she's busy because she, she does a broad review of you know <laughs> a lot of video games and she doesn't have time to to sit there and play all these games yeah, I do. but when she does do like in-depth quote-unquote when she's supposed to do in-depth like investigations yeah. on a certain franchise one that you would that if you're gonna like um it, like if you're going to actually go like for instance let's say let's say um jesse you're gonna do an investigation on uh the the whaling in uh assassin's creed 4 mm-hmm. you know the the pirate one black flag oh, yeah and you start writing this whole like forty page editorial about like anti whaling and whaling is wrong and yeah. you know killing a- like animals is murder because there's whaling in that game and it's like have you played that game and you're like no but I saw an, a trailer that they said whaling is there and I seen an interview from like E3 and people tell me there's whaling and I I believe in equal rights for whales it's like dude I played that game whaling is like maybe two percent of that game Mm -hmm. it's like a side quest it's almost there's so much other content in that game that the the whaling event of that is like almost like really are we complaining about that it's it's nothing to complain about yeah and and like what i've and like she does that sometimes she'll be she'll get a property and she'll be like this game is sexist because of this 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 and like half of the stuff she's technically mm-hmm. wrong about. Yeah. And it's like and it's not her fault because she's doing it based on um assumptions. Yeah. Because she never hasn't she hasn't really played the game. Mm-hmm. You know? She just like looks at it at face value yeah. and on recommendations and stuff like that. Or she plays like maybe ten minutes of a game mm-hmm. or an hour or like she's like, I played four hours of this game. And it's sexist. And I'm like, okay, that's valid. If you're playing Mario, four hours is not bad. But if you're playing something like a Final Fantasy... Yeah, four hours takes, is like, nothing. Four hours is nothing. Like, four hours you know? is maybe you get to the first dungeon. Like, if you're, like, playing Final Fantasy XIII, yeah. and you're like, I played four hours, and I think lightning is sexist. Oh, wow, like, you only made it to, like, chapter two. Good for you. It's like, this this game, you're, you're going to need to put 20 hours yeah. in just to get halfway in. Yeah. So, I'm like... Mm-hmm. It's that thing. It's that's the thing that irks me about her. Yeah. It's that she she and I know that she's like she doesn't have twenty hours to sit on a Final Fantasy. She has to do other ones. And I'm like, okay, I understand yeah. that. But when you do something like, let's say, I'm I don't know if she did do a review on it, but let's just say she's going to do a review on Final Fantasy Thirteen and she yeah. only played two hours of it. That's then I feel a little cheesed off. Yeah, basically. Like, yeah. If you're gonna do an investigation on this, freaking investigate. <laughs> investigate it. Yeah. You know, as a journalist, you're supposed to investigate. Well, like if this. you're like a, if you're freaking like a police officer going to investigate a murder scene, you're not gonna look at what like an outline and go, "Yep, that's a murder scene." Clearly, the wife did it. Clear- this guy's yeah. not married. Well, <laughs> clearly, the wife did it. Well, all right. It's in his house, so it has to be somebody in his house. Clearly. Okay, I'm done. Open Clear. and shut case. Yeah. It's like, aren't you going to investigate? I oh, got no. 50 other cases. I got so many other cases. The, the, he died in the house, so clearly it was somebody who lived in the house. And, you know, this is not... A, I just want to repeat again. This is not a slant because she's a woman. Hell, I would I would, I would do the yeah. same complaint if she was a guy. I could play more if it was a guy, yeah. Yeah, so... Because I, yeah. cause I know there'll be some people who are like, you're only going hard on her because she's a girl. I'm like, no, I'm going hard on her because she's a journalist. <laughs> if it was a guy, a dog, in a man costume, I don't care. <laughs> you said hard on. <laughs> yeah. Like she could be two, she could be three ducks in a human costume, and I'll still go, I'll still go like harsh criticism on those ducks. Hey, don't don't say her secrets like that. She won't like it. It's Huey, so, Dewey, and Louie in disguise. I got Donald! 
<laughs> they're on to us. <laughs> but yeah, that's just that's what cheeses yeah. me off about her. And it's yeah. like I have nothing against her personally. I just like her journalism sometimes is a little off. Mm-hmm. The thing is, like, my issue is that her issues half of the time are non-issues. Right. Like, I'm going to talk about the last one The last one she did. Well, she might have done another one between the last one. I don't care. I don't keep up to date on her freaking videos. Right. The last one I saw was she's talking about, I think it was called, like, like background sex objects. Which is basically games like Assassin's Creed and games like Watch Dogs and, and those kind of open world Grand Theft Auto type games where you walk around and you see like random like prostitutes or strippers or something on the back and it's saying that sex is that women are represented in that light. And it's like, I, and it's like yeah, because I've been to downtown LA and I have not seen strippers ever. Or Although, ever. if we're doing something like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and she's complaining like there's, there's prostitutes, prostitutes there because it it is historically accurate. There's prostitutes everywhere back then. I'm not saying every woman was a prostitute, but that I game it's about pirates. Yeah, that's what guess what pirates did plunder booty. It, in it's ways set, one, it's set in the island of Tortuga, which is an actual island. Yeah. It isn't just that Johnny Depp created it for the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Like, it is an actual island yeah. that existed, and it was a pirate haven. Yeah. Like, the only women who lived there Prostit- were the prostitutes, really, mm-hmm. and, like, the wives of some of the, like, yeah. of the pirates who were former prostitutes. Or currently are prostitutes still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you, that was not a safe haven. Like, there really wasn't, like, that's not an island you raise a family and start a community yeah, with. Yeah, that was, yeah. It's just like, if you're doing the Wild West town... Yeah, ninety percent of the of the actual frontier towns like Deadwood and stuff were the women in there were prostitutes. Yeah, she came out of Red Dead as well because there were prostitutes in Red Dead. I'm like because that that, that, that right was Red Dead. back in the day when you went to the frontier, especially in these gold mine days, the 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 prospectors, the the males would go out to get jobs and send the money back east. Where their families were, mm-hmm. so their families were living in civilization back east in the frontier town. It was mostly roughneck guys and their and with money. Mm-hmm. That was the whole thing. Like the town of Deadwood and San Francisco were built on this kind of thing because yeah. basically you had these prospectors who, at the end of the week, would have their gold in their pockets, and you had business tycoons like an Al Swearingen, who basically made rich off these people because he knew that at the end of the week. These these miners yeah, pretty, had gold. Yeah. They're tired. They're dirty. They're far away from their families. Yeah. So they're lonely. So they either want two things: alcohol or sex, or companionship. Yeah, compa- you know, so quote he unquote, was, companionship. So at, so he opened a saloon. Yeah. So it's like you can either get some booze or get some woman. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or if you want booze and woman, and mm. for those th- those guys on the side that. Maybe you don't want a drink, and you don't want a woman. There's gambling also here. So. Play some blackjack, play some friggin' whatever you want, some poker. So, you know, it's not like, oh, they're predicting, per, uh, like, they're portraying the West kind of vile. The West was a vile The West was a vile, yeah, it was. <laughs> That's the reason why it's called the Wild Frontier, the Wild Wild West. It's not called the very neat, well-behaved West. You know, they didn't tame it until later on. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like, even in Red Dead, like, she was complaining about, like, oh, there's prostitutes in Red Dead and stuff like that. At least in, in Red Dead, I feel like they kind of took it in a nice way. Because, like, like, John Marston was already a married man. So, right. like, there's things where he would walk around, if you were walking around a saloon to go somewhere, like, you would have the prostitutes, like, engage in conversation with you. Like, hey, baby, you want to have a good time? And he's always like, I'd love to oblige, man, but I'm a happily married man. He's always, like, very courteous, very nice about it. Oh, that's very that's very nice. I love it. Yeah, he's a married man. He's dedicated to his wife and his kids. And he's like yeah. if And those had... those people do exist. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. And he was he was an honest and goodness man. Like he would be like, Sorry man, but I'm already married and like the woman would just go away, disrespect his privacy. <laughs> and it's like yeah, that and... game was very respectful of doing it. Like it's like, yeah, there are prostitutes. Some guys can engage in prostitutes, some guys don't. 
That's the thing. You know, and but and here's the thing: you can't satisfy everyone because yeah. if you didn't put the prostitutes, then people would it's say it's not this accurate. Is, yeah, yeah, it's not historically accurate. And I was like, so you're you're screwed. You're you're literally screwed, man. Yeah. It's like you either put in the prostitutes or you don't put in the prostitutes. Yeah. Either way, someone has to get screwed, and let it not rather not be me, rather be the video game prostitute. <laughs> there you go. Uh, also, the thing is, like, my biggest my biggest problem with her is that she doesn't listen to the other side of things. Mm -hmm. Like, if you try, like, look at her videos. She blocks all comments. She blocks ratings. You can't you can't send her PMs. You can't write on her on her YouTube right. page. And I understand Facebook. You can't tweet her. You can't do anything to her. I understand why she does that there's lot, because there's a lot of legitimate people who attack. Yeah, and like she's gotten so much hate mail and stuff like that, and I understand that it's basically too many people like that. Yeah, have ruined it to the point where she's kind of suspicious of yeah pretty much anyone, yeah. and not just guys. She's suspicious of anyone because yeah. and. I'm sorry that that happened. Yeah, to you, I, I'm, but... I, I think it sucks. Like I don't agree with anyone who says, "Oh, we should send her like hate mail and death threats." Like that's not what I want. I don't want to like. Yeah. I don't want to threaten her off the internet. I don't want to freaking like chase her away. I don't want to like threaten her. I want all I want to do is just ask a question. Like I want. Yeah, say, I... I get your video. I'm not gonna hate it. I'm not gonna say crap. I'm gonna say like, let me at least say my side of it. Right, there's and it, there's two sides to every coin. I've right, and I'm I also don't one don't, side without looking at the other side. And I also don't agree about those people who are like, oh, she's not a true gamer, she's not a true geek, she's not a true. And I'm like, does it really matter? She's a woman with an opinion, and we're not critic. I'm not criticizing her credentials. I was like, she never played a video game before she was fucking twenty years old. I'm like, so? But the point is, she's investigating this stuff today. She's investigating this genre today. She's doing active journalism on the subject today. I'm not criticizing that. Like, She could have never heard of video games until she was 21. I don't care. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that. Mm -hmm. I give a fuck about her, her journalism today, what she's investigating. Yeah. I don't care about that she's never played Halo mm -hmm. before in her life. I want to know if she played Halo while investigating Halo. And you can never, That's yeah, what I care about. You can never play a video game in your life, but if you're going to say, hey, I'm going to investigate video games for a living, then I you should start you should playing, start playing, playing yeah. And that. Yeah. I don't care what she did in the past. I don't care that, like, oh, when she was 10, she said video games suck, mm -hmm. and now, like, and she's not a true gamer. It's like, well, yeah. I, we've all said stupid stuff when we were, like, 10. Doesn't mean shit, you know? <laughs> It's like, now when we're an adult, you know, and it's your job. and Because this is her job. Yeah. Her job is to be a writer. Her job is to be a blogger, to write, like, journalistic uh, views and prose here. And it's like, okay, I want, I'm, I'm attacking her her stance on journalism. Not her as a person, not her as her personal life or her likes or dislikes or any of her political views, her personal views. I don't care about that. I'm not yeah. attacking that on her. Yeah, well, the thing about the not real gamer thing that people are upset about, which I, I was upset about for a while, too, was the thing that in her original Kickstarter video, she mentioned the fact that she was a gamer, she was a hardcore gamer, she loved to play video games, and she wanted to make a video series about video games. Right. But, like, about a year or two later, there was a, somebody recorded one of her lectures that she did at a school where she was telling her, talking about video games, and somebody from the class asked her, like, how often does she play video games? And she said, I don't play video games. If I want to see people's heads get blown off, I don't want to see that. I can watch a movie for that. See, and I think there's And, like, that line, that, that. when I saw that, I'm just like, why did you say that? Yeah. Like, if you're trying to, like, even if that's, like, a joke, like, it didn't come off a joke. She's like, no, I don't want to blow people's heads off. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested you know, in like, journalism. It's like, if you're going to argue, if your current job consists of you looking at video games and being considered, like, you went on a video and said, a public video and said you're a gamer. Yet in a private lecture, you said that, I don't want to blow people's heads off, video games are gross. Is essentially what she said. It's, it's the equivalent of, of if I, my job is to be, like, a film critic. Yeah. And I, I make a video where I'm like, I love movies. I go to theaters every week, and I've seen a million movies. 
And then, like, you get me on video, like, like whatever. Prior I'm to fucking... that, it's, it's like, I never seen a movie in my life. What? I just read books all my life. Yeah. I hate movies. Movies are stupid. <laughs> movies are... Cinema is the lowest common denominator. It's not, you know? not going to last. It's, it's not going to last like true literature, like this book. Yeah, this book is still here. Then it's like, why the fuck can you be a film critic? Yeah. That's one of the things where it's like, that's why people... I get why people are upset about that. It's like... The thing is that the video, the Kickstarter video came out before this lecture did. This lecture was only like a year or two ago. The Kickstarter was like several years ago. So it's like, if that came, if the lecture thing came out first, and then like, the other one came out second, I wouldn't be upset. It is like, okay, she didn't like video games, now she does. But it's like, she made a big video public saying, I love video games, and I want to discuss my view of video games with everybody. And then later on, just to a private audience say, Oh, video games are gross. They're violent and over violent. It's like you know, it's it's one of those things where she has to uh, address this. She has to explain what she meant. You know, and for, she has and to defend the, herself. And there. the thing is, I don't mean she has to defend herself because she's a woman or because yeah. it's more of just you just gotta elaborate this thing because if you don't, people are gonna misquote you. Yeah. And people are gonna make this accusations. Yeah, and she never brought up like. If people were to ask her about it, she would either ignore them or block them. You know, just go on statement and clear this up and yeah. say, like, oh, what I meant with this was a sarcastic fashion yeah. or something like that. You know, it's like if if I say, like, oh, uh, my buddy John rapes lambs <laughs> every day. <laughs> and... And I spread that to the internet, and everyone I know is like, he's the lamb fucker. <laughs> and every time when, um, like, when people talk to him, they ask him, I was like, are you the lamb fucker? And he's like, I got nothing to say about this. Yeah. And he doesn't address this. Guess what? Ten <laughs> years from now, everyone's going to think he, he does things to farm animals. It's like, I think at one point, you have to address this. Yeah. You have to be like, hey, man, let me get this thing straight. I never even touched a lamb. I don't even like lamb chops. Hell, the pit, lamb chops play along mm -hmm. gave me the creeps when I was a kid, man. <laughs> it is. Yeah. That's the thing is, if you don't address the negative things, nobody else is gonna really. And it's not one of these things. It's like I don't want to lower myself yeah. to address this thing. It was like after a while, you will have once it becomes some big issue like that, you have to release a statement. Yeah. Because it's, it's been spread on the internet for a while, and for the most part, most people who know of Anita Sarkeesian and like, are part of the people who don't like her have seen this video already and have spread this video around. So it's not like it's a very obscure video that nobody knows about. Like It's been spread around. I think the original video has like a few million views on it or something. Yeah. It's like, like she has to bring it up. And the thing is, like she's been, I guess, so, like I guess, scarred or whatever by all the negative stuff she's got. She's afraid to address negative things on, anymore. I can see, I can see, like getting so much hate that you don't want to address the hate but something like that there's a difference between hate and something that can hurt your career and i'm not saying like she has to go in front of like a public kind of like, uh, the, like a public yeah, yeah like, she doesn't have to make like a whole 20 minute video defending her stats and at one point she doesn't she, have to be like the president where he where yeah he's, my, he's fe my fellow young. internet people uh, and there's like this. 20 reporters grilling her for questions. Yeah. She can just do a quick five minute like vlog. It's a quick vlog like, saying, by the way, this video came out. Just to clarify, I meant only specific video games. I only meant this type of game. I only meant I don't first like person shooters. I don't like first yeah. person shooters. Any other game I'm totally cool with, but I just don't like. But I'm cool shooters. with Candy Crush. Candy you know? Crush is the shit. You know, something like that. And yeah. I'll be like, okay. Okay, I guess she I guess that makes sense, yeah. That's fair. Like she likes puzzle games, yeah. okay. My sister does too. Yeah. What's what's your boy? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she just ignored it. And the thing is like the longer like if you don't say anything, if you don't clear it up, people are just gonna yeah, like you said, just assume she hates video games and like why should she be a video game reporter when she yeah. went like to a public forum and said video games are disgusting and they're all I don't wanna blow people's heads off. Yeah, and it's that thing that if it's it, and if she's hoping for this to blow away, it's been X amount of years, it still hasn't blown away. People still talk about you know? it. And if she doesn't defend herself, people are like, they'll be like, well, did she ever defend this? Did she ever comment on this? No, oh, must be true then. Yeah. People are going to eventually assume like, oh, it must be true because she never made a, a statement on this. She never retracted this. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, that must be the truth.
Yeah, so that's like, yeah, it's kind of an, like, yeah, that's the problem. Like, I feel like if there was another person who was a little more, like, I guess, less biased, mm-hmm. like, the problem is she's way too biased to one side. Right. Like, if I did, like, if I, say I did, like, a freaking, a thing where I, ta- I was like, a journalist and I talked about, like, music. I was, say I was a music journalist. Mm-hmm. But I love, like, bands like Metallica and Slayer. Like, if I'm doing a general music, like, thing, and I talked right. about, like, only metal music, that'd be, like, one thing people come in, I was like, oh, you say you're, like, a metal, you say, like, you're a music thing, but you only talk about one very specific part of music. You should talk about other parts of music. They'll, they'll, they'll start labeling you as, like, oh, Jesse only likes metal. Which and I, you never yeah. clarify that. You never, like, I also like pop. I like, no, you I never, like you never said that. Yeah. All, like, you did, you spent 20 years claiming to be the all-around music, music master cover. yeah yeah but you've only covered metal bands yeah and everyone's gonna think like what about there's other genres of music out there it's like well hey this week let's talk about uh black sabbath <laughs> you know then not then at that point they'll be like why don't you just change your name to the metal yeah music? metal yeah metal in general is like no this is music as a whole <laughs> It's like, it is a hole, but you're not covering that. You're only covering metal, sir. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of the thing where I feel like it's like, she only covers one very s- small select part of... Has she ever named stuff, any video games she likes? That's a good question. Because, you know, we've always hear about like, oh, she hates this and she hates this. It's like, has there ever been a list of like, like... And all that she ever said, like, I like the new Tomb Raider. Well, I'm not sure about a list, but according to what I looked up about the Mirror's Edge thing, she liked the first Mirror's Edge, and that's why she wanted to do this. Be- okay, she, so she liked the first Mirror Edge. All right. Which is basically just a video game about a nameless, faceless girl running around. <laughs> okay. Essentially. <laughs> but the thing is, like, the report, there's a specific report that I was looking at when I was seeing this, and she said that she wanted the second mirror's edge to be more accessible to women okay i'm like i don't get how the first one isn't accessible to women it's a game where you play as a non-sexualized girl and you run up you run do crazy parkour on buildings because you're a part of a deep conspiracy it's like it's a game where you're just playing a girl that runs around and does occasional close combat fighting I don't get how that's not accessible to women. Also, how come a game needs to be accessible to women? Like, I know plenty of men and women who like a specific game. Right. Like, I like both like males and females like Final Fantasy. Both males and females like friggin' Mario. Both males and females like Zelda. It's like, I don't think a game, like, obviously a guy's not going to play, like, Barbie's Blowout the game or something, like... Hello Kitty's Big Island Adventure. Hey, he- to be fair, Hello Kitty Roller Rescue is the shit. All right. So like, I feel like a game could be like geared more towards one like one genre, like one gender. Like obviously, like a very fem- a very like Hello Kitty or Barbie would be more geared to like a female, and a game like I don't like Gears of War or whatever would be more of like a male based game. But anyone from any gender can like a game if you just make it well. I don't think there's been any time when there's, like, a person working at GameStop that's, like, a girl comes in and says, like, I want to buy this copy of Gears of War. I don't think there's any GameStop guy who will be like, this is a boy's game. Hold on. Gears of War, do you mean Barbie's horse riding adventure? Like, he's about to scan this thing, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Madam, I think you're mistaken. I I think... (laughs) Excuse me, is this for your brother and or father? Are you buying this for yourself? Or for your... Is this for your boyfriend or or husband? Uh, no, I just wanted to play it. Excuse me. I need to go in the back for a sec and pulls out, like, another game. It's like a pink I'm, you you were probably on your on your phone reading the new Cosmo magazine or something. You you simply got mis... You simply got the wrong copy of a game. Here you go. Here's Hello Kitty. Yeah. Here's, here's Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen solve the, the mystery of the loo. <laughs> yes. It, it, don't worry. It's a common mistake. We fix it all the time. Here you go. But I don't want that game. Sure you do. You'd love it. I want Gears of War. What's that? You want Halo? You want you want uh, My Little Pony too? Yeah. No, no. I, I also want Halo. What's that? 
Barbie's summer vacation? <laughs> okay, yeah. here you go. Here you go. I just want to play a shooter. It's like, um, you mean cute game. Hey, I want to buy this 3DS. Oh, I'm sorry, we're all out of pink 3DS. We're right? out of pink. It's like, can I just get a blue? No. No. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> blue just assume that you want the color. pink one. <laughs> blue is clearly a boy's color. That's why I say that guy is a sexist, because then, because then you'll walk in and you'll be like, "Can I get that pink Kirby uh, 3DS?" <laughs> no, you want this manly blue one. Yeah. Hey, can I? Hey, can I get the new Kirby game? Um, you mean the Halo trilogy? Yeah. I'm like, no, I kind of want to get the new Kirby for 3DS. Oh, hold on. Um, did you mean the new Destiny beta? I'm like, no, I want to play Kirby. <laughs> My little pink guy who sucks. <laughs> um, you mean a gritty, futuristic first-person shooter game? No, that's not what I want at all. You're a man. That's exactly what you want. Take this copy of Halo and this can of Mountain Dew and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your Doritos. Like throwing Doritos at him as I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, do do do! That one hit my eye. <laughs> While wearing this, like. No, tap out shirt. Ah! <laughs> tap out shirt. <laughs> Don't forget your obey hat. <laughs> now I feel like there's a hipster douche now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what happened? I just wanted Kirby. <laughs> yeah, you go home. It's like your mom's like, your parents are like, oh, did you get the game you wanted to get? I'm not really sure what I got. I'm not really sure, but. I kind of want to watch some UFC now. Why are you covered in Cheeto with Dorito dust? I don't know. I don't know, Mom. I want more though. <laughs> can we go? Can we watch some? Can we watch some football? <laughs> can we watch some yeah, football, football followed by some Ultimate Fighting Championship. Ultimate Fighting Football. <laughs> Then I want to go hunting, but you've never gone hunting before. I want to kill something with my bare hands. I need to strangle an elk so we can cook it for dinner. <laughs> I want to prove my masculinity. While riding a horse. While riding a horse. <laughs> and shooting a national bald eagle with a crossbow. America! Fuck yeah! It's like jumping off a mountain. Uh, we're going off topic. We're just, we're not talking about my my uh, my regular nightmares that I suffer. My regular dreams, I mean. <laughs> regular nightmares. I mean dreams. I mean dreams. So what? Uh, what was our original point? Um, oh yeah, Nia Sarkeesian. She's not the best in the world. Yeah, she's she's misunderstood. Also, there's a thing like it's a general feminist thing that I know people like. Okay. I'll say this. I'm a. I'll say I'm a feminist, because the term feminist just means that you believe men and women should be treated as equals. Yeah. And yeah, that's fine. I'm not saying that men are better than women. I'm saying not saying women are better than men. I'm saying that we should, no matter what gender we are, just get the same treatment. Yeah. It seems like feminism is now a thing where like women are better than men, and like men are terrible because they are like sexist. And it's like that's not what feminism is though feminism is a thing about equality not about wanting women to be better than men oh I, I treat people the same oh. and sometimes i get called out on that it's like you should treat her better i'm like why i treat her exactly as i treat anyone else it's really like a thing where like um there like there's a report online it was, i think it was like cbs news mm -hmm. on like their facebook page where it said like there was a pregnant woman who, like, broke into a man's house and tried to, like, attack him in his sleep and steal stuff from him. And since he's a... Uh, and he, tra he, at he attacked her in self-defense and accidentally killed her and the child she was pregnant with. Whoa. <laughs> and But, like, everyone's saying, like, he's a terrible, horrible person. For doing that, it's like, um, if a crazy person came into my house and tried to kill me, I would defend myself, too. It's like... like what, what do you want me to do? Yeah. She tr broke into my... I was asleep. She broke into my house. Yeah, if you broke into my house, I have the right to defend myself. And I wasn't... You weren't there. For all you know, she was wielding a fucking knife with the intent to kill him. Yeah, I'm not going to say, like, oh, oh, you're pregnant. My bad. Um, Let me address you to the proper place. It's like, no, she's freaking... Broke in my house with a knife. Well, she had a knife. According to the report, she had a knife on her. Oh, that's even more. She you know. broke into his house, had a knife... He was, I think, asleep at the time. She was starting to steal stuff. 
and like he woke up, saw what was happening. I think he she tried to attack him, and he right. defended her, himself and accidentally killed him. And accidentally you killed know, her. this isn't like Trayvon Martin where it's like a little kid who's just walking around, just <laughs> coming out of a house. You know, not it's like this this person was in the house. There was a knife breaking an entry. Then it's no longer it, this is break breaking an entry. Breaking an entry, yeah, breaking an entry with possible uh, harm yeah. made for people. You know, that's why most people, most burglars, try to break into houses when people aren't it's, there yeah. because all they'll be judged with with just breaking an entry. Yeah. You know, and maybe a little bit of a case of burglary. Yeah. Because once there's people in there, then there's more charges. Yeah. Also, there's there's like, also the risk of that person fighting back. <laughs> yeah, because now you could be charged with risk of bodily harm. You can be charged with an aggravated assault. You could be charged with a whole bunch of other stuff now because there's people in there. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, things get ugly. So that's why most burglars, if they're going to break into someone's house, they do it when no one's around. And they don't really do it with weapons. Mm -hmm. They do most of the times. The, I'm talking about, like, the smart burglars. Yeah. They're just a smash and grab job, yeah. you know? They only like they smash a window. They went. They run in there. They grab some jewelry and get the hell out. You know they're not like lurking around with a with a knife. If you're lurking around in there with a knife, that means you're planning more than just grabbing those jewels and running away. Yeah. You know I'm not saying like she planned to murder him in his sleep, but you go you come in there packing a knife. Then that means you're prepared for something. Mm -hmm. She's prepared just in case like if someone came to attack her, yeah, she, she was willing back. to fight back. Mm -hmm. And she was she would she probably big on the fact like oh I'm pregnant no one's gonna attack me yeah it's like it's like because that means she's willing to she's willing to stab him yeah to stab someone hey if a woman's gonna stab me I'm not gonna say oh I'm sorry go right ahead you're a woman I'm a man I forgot it's so it's, it's cool it's my fault for being a man. that's my bad yeah I, I'm sorry did I land into your knife that's such a man thing for me to do. I don't know. If someone's trying to kill me, man, woman, I'm knocking them the fuck out. I know, right? I'm like, you're going down. I don't care if you are a woman. You're going down. You're trying to kill me? I don't care. I don't see gender at that point. I see someone trying to kill me. Yeah, I see a threat. I see something trying to man, kill me. Man, woman, it could be a, animal, like, trust alien. Me, it could be, yeah, it could be a bear. It's I'm a like, threat in my house. I'm not saying I'm going to be able to kill the bear, but I'm not going to just go down. Like I'm going to try to defend myself yeah. against that bear like freaking combined me and my dad probably own like 50 knives and like 10 swords so like, someone's gonna get stabbed yeah so like the thing is like i always feel like nobody's ever broken into our house but i feel like if it were to happen you're I'm, like it's a shame i have all these knives yeah and it's like... that's why i always have a joke where it's like i'm whenever i get like a new game i need to open the plastic like, damn it i wish i had something to cut open the plastic with and I'll be at the desk where it's like twenty knives hanging above me. <laughs> like I wish I had a freaking pair of scissors or a knife or something. You have like this like little envelope you're trying to open. You have like a freaking broadsword that you're using to open it. Like actually, I do. Like on my dad's desk, there's a dragon sword, which like the hilt is a dragon, but the uh -huh. tail is a long, curved, serrated blade. So like for the longest time, I just use that to open mundane things. <laughs> It's like open up this bag of Cheetos. It's like, yeah. ah. it's like um, oh, there was a there was a thing. Um, I think like, oh, there's a there's a guy called the Vegan Metal Chef, uh -huh. where he makes like just really generic vegan meals, but he does it while wearing full like black metal like makeup and like spiked armor. And, like, he'll like, headbang while he's, like, mixing the freaking ingredients in. And, like, he'll cut everything. Cut the ingredients like a battle axe. And it's freaking fun. <laughs> it reminds me of that. It's like, Ugh. Yeah. Back to another question I was actually asking vaguely before I got sidetracked. Is, um... I said to another friend of mine about... And she kind of agreed with me, but I always like to talk to other people about this. I guess it's a public thing. If you're curious, if you want to ask her a question in the pop, in the description comments, you can. Um, but I was going to ask you, when is something sexist and when is something sexy? When is something sexist and when is something sexy? Like, a woman can just be sexy without having to be sexist, right? Right. Like, also, another thing is think of, like, shows that are, like, shows or video games that look overtly sexist but are made by women. Right. Like, a good example is an anime called Sekirei, which you might have heard of. 
Okay, yes, I have. Yeah, it's basically a, a harem about a guy being surrounded yeah. by like chicks with huge boobs, and it's all made by a woman. It's like you can't yeah. really call it a sexist show because it's made by a woman. It's not really sexist. It's, she's doing that on purpose. Yeah, she's, she, she I, knows what yeah. she's. Well, it's like when a woman cosplays, like a uh, like a Jessica Negri. Oh yeah. Let's use her as a good example. Mm. You know, she knows what she's doing. You know, no one's forcing her so, to dress up like you know no one's holding a gun to her head and saying you will dress like a sexy riku or i will kill you she's like she does that because she chooses to i'm not now th- this is this is talking about her choice not about like um harassment or consent or anything no we're not talking about that we're talking about her oh we'll talk like, about that later in the yeah you know. um this is about about like she chooses to dress up like that mm-hmm. not not because she's any way you know i don't know her personally i'm not making an assumption of what she like how she acts and, yeah. you know it's not like oh she's a whore yeah. you know she's a nice like, person in the world yeah she's yeah from her she's a really nice person yeah. she she dresses like that because she likes to dress like that yeah. you know she 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 loves that, those outfits you know she's she's a big fan of what's it called sonico oh super sonico yeah yeah she's a huge fan of i love i love super sonico too she's I, I remember in an interview she said that she has a lot of super sonico uh merchandise all over her, like her house Ooh. you know and like and she likes like outfits that show off her cleavage yeah. you know and, hey, she bought them. She can use them however she wants. Yeah, Dude, right? It's, actually, it's, are they it's, fake? It's, I don't know. I believe they, they are. They might. Um, they might be. I know. I know. Yaya, the famous China yeah. cosplayer, she had implants. Yeah, you know, it's the same equivalent of like, look, um, a guy, like, if, like it's that thing where like, it's un, like where if a girl walks around in a bikini. Like, people will say, like, either they'll be like, oh, the general assumption, you get half the people will be like, that's hot. Or the other half will be like, wow, she's Terrible. probably a skank, you know? But if there's a, like, if a guy walks around in, like, shorts, like some muscular, jacked up, like, dude, just walks around in shorts, most women will automatically be like, oh, that dude's, like, looks pretty cut and ripped. There, no g- girl will be like, that guy is such a man whore. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, what? where's the catch theory too? You know, it's like, he can walk around in that all he wants. It's like, well, can't she walk around in that? Like, maybe she wants to. Maybe it's hot out. Yeah. Maybe she wants to walk in a bikini top and some shorts. Friggin' it's California. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. It's fucking California. <laughs> yeah, if you live in California, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain. It's like, friggin' yeah, she's hot. And I know it's like, well, why don't you walk around shirtless? Because I'm fat. All right. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it's like, cause I'm, well, I'm not like obese, yeah. but it's like, but I'm. I'm, I'm stubby. I have, I have a gut. I have a beer belly, all right? I don't even drink beer. And I have a beer belly. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, I like chicken, all right? <laughs> I like fried chicken. <laughs> Is it so wrong? But it's like, I don't like my body. I need a, I need, I need a picture of you, like, on your with your fingers on your, like, on your chin, like, thinking. And then have, a, have like, a black and white picture of that. And have, like, a text that says, like, I love fried chicken. Is that so wrong? Carlos and Barajas, 2014. And then I know they'll be like, well, you should be proud of your body. I'm like, yes, oh. I am. Oh, I like my I'm body. I'm going to put a shirt on now. Yeah, and I'm so proud. I like to keep my body to myself. I'm, st- I'm, not... I'm so proud. I don't want to disturb There's other a difference. There's a difference about being proud of your body and and being an exhibitionist, you know? <laughs> I know. Those, those are the people who are so proud of their body. They want to share it with the world. Yeah. It's like. Just because I don't want to walk around shirtless doesn't mean I'm I'm ashamed of my body. No, yeah. oh, if anything, I'm like it just means that like I, I take it off and I'll be like, wow, I got a farmer's tan. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Like it's like, hey, I'm white, freaking. I don't want to get any worse tan than I normally do. <laughs> you know, it's like, look, I just don't like walking. Around. Dude, I don't even like walking around to my house barefoot. <laughs> yeah, I barely. For God's sakes. Yeah, you, I'm usually wearing sandals. If I'm, I'm always, dude. I'm wearing socks every time when I'm like. People are like, why do you wear socks all the time? It's because I don't like walking around barefoot. I don't even wear sandals. Like, I walk around in slippers at home. And then even with slippers, I wear socks. Mm -hmm. Because it's this thing about slippers. Like, my feet start to sweat a lot when I wear slippers barefoot. But if I put on socks, I don't sweat. So it's like, and I don't like the sensation of, like, sweaty feet inside shoes. It's like, personal thing. I just don't like the sensation of that. It always bothers me. 
So that's why I just put on socks all the time, and I just walk around in socks. I'm, I'm literally, I have socks on right now. Yeah. It is it is almost two in the morning, and I'm wearing pajamas, and I'm having socks on my damn feet. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe bed, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll take off my socks if, if I'm in my bed and I'm just too hot. But the first thing I do when I get wake up in the morning, I'm putting those socks back on them. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and it's not like. Oh, you're just not you're ashamed of your feet. No, I just don't like my feet being sweaty. You know? <laughs> yeah, they do that. It's not like comfort. <laughs> so it's it's all a it's all a personal choice. Yeah. You know, some people some people like men, women like to, uh, you know, sometimes yeah. sometimes feeling sexy, it it means walking around shirtless, and sometimes feeling sexy means dressing up like Superman. Well, I know re- or, I know recently I saw this, I saw this, I think today I don't know how old the actual post was, but I just saw it this morning. Was uh, Jessica Neat? Somebody shared it on like some other person I, I knew on Facebook shared it, and it was a post that Jessica Negri made where she was like saying like people keep attacking me because all my costumes have cleavage, so I made a collage of all the costumes I wore that don't have cleavage, and she okay. put like these pictures of the characters and like, and I said like and and somebody said like yeah if somebody made the same collage of characters who do have cleavage it would be a multi-page collage, or it'd be like a giant freaking like text uh, like giant picture giant freaking picture file with like, and, uh, little, like squares on it and then here's another thing i would say mm-hmm. you know i, I would have been like miss negri you don't really need to defend your yeah that's, mom, that's but... another thing i thought it's like why did, like i just kind of saw it i'm like okay that's cool why does she need to make a statement about it yeah like it's not like people are assault it's like uh, she has fans because she shows her boobs off for the most part and like but... She has a lot of haters because she, of the exact same reason. I feel like as I feel like the fans though outweigh the haters. So mm-hmm. why should she have to defend herself from the haters if that's what the fans want? Now, it's kind of like when like it's like freaking like South Park. Like you never see them apologizing to people for their sense of humor. Mm-hmm. It's freaking South Park. They do whatever they the fuck they want because right. they know that's what people like. Oh, they have haters, but they don't care. They want. The people who like their stuff to get exactly what they see, watch their show for, just well, you know, adulterated whatever. Um, I for my web comic, cause yes, yeah, for anyone listening, I do have a web comic. Uh, link to it down in the description below. But like when I do my web comic, I really like the number one person I write it for is usually myself. Yeah, I'm like I don't really like. I'm like I don't really. It sounds like maybe I've made sound like an asshole, but I was like I really don't care about people's opinions when they're like, you know, if some if I get one comment from someone, it's like I don't like this joke, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, but guess what? Oh, everyone else likes this joke, and more importantly, I thought this joke was funny. Mm-hmm. Should I change that entire like comic yeah. if like a thousand people like it and I like it? But that one, one or... guy in Wisconsin didn't like it. Should I change it? Oh. It's like no, yeah. you know. I'm sorry, and I and I usually send them like a comment. It was like I'm sorry if you didn't like this thing. I have plenty of other pages and other comments. Hey, if you don't like this comment, read this. Yeah. And it's like, and if if not, then I'm sorry I offended you, and uh, hope you had a good day. You know, if you're not gonna watch or you're not gonna read anymore, I'm like I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm like I'm not gonna change any plans I have. And it's like and then look if I I govern myself by a certain set of rules to begin with. Like one rule is I I don't draw sex. Yeah. So it's like I don't draw it. I could. I I certainly can, but I won't. I won't. You know. <laughs> um, and like I think that's really the only and like anything that would be really racially insensitive and hateful you know i was like and mostly because i have family members who read my stuff you know no one like below the age of 14 but but because i don't let like especially like my niece and stuff she wants to read my comics i'm like no maybe 10 years from now but not now (laughs) but like i have like i think my youngest uh, cousin who's like 16 reads them and i'm like ah okay i think they're like that's a cutoff yeah you know i I, older team i do like basically what anime is you know yeah. you, you know that rated not the pokemon anime but like regular kind of anime yeah. like a tenchi and stuff like at at most my stuff is is at at most like an etchy but it's not a hentai mm-hmm. you'll never see 
like you'll see the same stuff as a love hina yeah. you know which is mm-hmm. really nothing yeah. <laughs> when you look at the prospector thing and it's like um it, it like you don't have to do things to satisfy the masses mm-hmm. yeah. yeah you do if you if you do if you cross a moral gray line mm-hmm. but if you're not crossing some kind of moral gray line yeah that you're not in the wrong mm-hmm. you know and that's why i'm like like miss negri at this point it's like you're not coming out completely naked yeah. and walking in front of a preschool mm-hmm. you know you haven't done that you haven't done anything inappropriate like, you haven't done anything like terrible that you, you haven't apologize done for yeah. appropriate i've seen I, I like what would you say her worst most inappropriate costume is um like, well I, she had a pikachu costume where it's basically just like a yellow bikini with ears and a tail that's, I know, probably, like, that's maybe, probably the most revealing she's had. And at the end of the day, it's just a yellow bikini. The same kind of thing you could see on the beach. Yeah. You know, the beach where millions of people wear bikinis, held in, probably even wore even skimpier bikinis. I think I remember the one you're you're referring to. Yeah. Like, I think I remember, um, wasn't she kicked out of, like, uh, PAX because of, um, because of a uh, lollipop chainsaw? Oh, yeah, outfit? because, yeah. But that wasn't really like in a that, like that wasn't like naked. It was just like a full, it's like a tight bodysuit with like a yeah. Open-up. I remember seeing that, and I was like, "That's from the video game." Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it's just a tight bodysuit. Yeah, it wasn't like, like oh, no nipples or anything showing. Or, yeah, like, I'm like bad thing. If that's bad, then all those what cosplayers are, yeah. who, who cosplay as like Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Batman yeah. Returns should be kicked out because that's a tight yeah, body basically, suit. Basically, yeah. Or anyone who cosplays as a Power Ranger. That's tight spandex that's form-fitting sometimes. Yeah. Or Spider-Man, you know, because those are tight form-fitting. Yeah. It's like, why must we, Yeah, I've seen, like, worse costumes at cons before. Yeah. Freaking look at, like, Kill the Kill. Like, after that's come out, you see all the people trying to get away with that costume. Yeah, I see some of the Kill the Kill ones. I'm like, whoa, wow. I don't know if that, like, I'm, I'm surprised the ones they lend to the con sometimes. Yeah. Especially like, especially from the guys. Kill kill one. Yeah. Especially when the guys I, dressing up as her. I, my first thing is never like, wow, that's hot. My first question is like, I'll wow. I'll let you in. Yeah. Like, did you, did you come in? Did you dress here at the con? Were you in your car like that? Yeah. Were you driving in traffic with that car? Did you pull did you come here? Your with that? <laughs> did you come here like through transportation? Mm-hmm. Like, were you on the bus with that? Wait, no. <laughs> Like, maybe you were wearing, like, a coat? Yeah. Were you, like, wearing, like, a giant, like... A trench coat. Sweater coat? Yeah, trench coat? <laughs> that's my question. It's never, like, that's so hard. Can I touch your so <laughs> No, that's my first question. It's, like, how did how you... they wear that? Yeah. How is that not against the code of conduct? <laughs> and then, like, then maybe the next one would be, like, how is that even staying on? And the third question is, like, hey, can I get a picture? <laughs> Like, yeah, most like, of the time, I'm like, I won't even take a picture of that because I'm, I'm too baffled. I'm yeah. like, I'll just walk away now. Well, if it's a character I recognize and like, I'll be like, oh, I'll get a quick picture. Yeah. Yeah, well, but... but then I'll, and it's like, oh, you're asking about, like, how is it stayed on? Because she has boobs. I was like, now nah, I will say that if there's, like, if it's a, dude, a dude wearing that thing. He's wearing, like, a dick sock. He'd be like, how's your dick sock staying on? Yeah. Are you, like, aroused all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or if you have some kind of prosthetics, like corns or something, I'll be like, how are those staying on your head? It's like a cucumber at all times. <laughs> those shoulder leg pads. It's are... like, how are those staying? Yeah. Is it, is it comfortable to walk in those stilts? I was but, you know, seeing stilted costume here. like, whoa, how does that I, even... Honestly, I, I all the cons I go, I haven't really taken much cosplay pictures because I never feel right. Personally, because I'm a shy person. Oh yeah, I never really go up to a person and be like, "Can I take your picture?" Because I'm always feels like I I feel weird like going up to people, but it's because to me it's like regardless of the costume, it feels like I'm just going up to a person and like a random person is like, "Can I take your picture?" Yeah, like like the first year I barely took any pictures of people, uh-huh. but like after like when I wore my costume, people would always keep going up to me asking me for pictures. Like, "Can I get a picture of you? Can I get a picture of you?" I was gonna like. Oh, so this is just like a common thing. People just want to get yeah. the characters. I'm like, okay, I, I don't feel weird asking now. Right. Because the first year I just felt awkward, like asking people. Like sometimes it was like sometimes it's like a cost I really really love. Like I only have like I think maybe three or four pictures from my first con, and and or like at least cosplay pictures. Like some of them are just like me and my friend, 
and there's like random pictures of like the line or whatever. But like specific cosplay pictures, I think there's only like two or three because they're characters I just really love. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I love that character. I just want to get a quick picture, even if I feel weird or not. But after like, but this is after like so many people have already asked me for pictures. I was like, okay, this is like a common thing that happens. Okay, I'm not like feeling weird about it anymore. Maybe if I was in a costume too, I mean, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable because then I'll be like, I'm a fellow cosplayer. Yeah. And I cosplay like, years. That's kind of a thing. Other thing. Yeah. Like I remember, like my first time when I was in co- in a con, like I think the way I was taking pictures, I would be the guy who who jumps into a group of people taking pictures, yeah. like. They'll be like, you know, oh, yeah. like there'll be it's already five it, people yeah. taking pictures. And you can't like, speak be, and go, huh? And I'll be behind. I'll be like, oh, everyone's taking pictures. I'll take a picture too, because someone already asked. I'll do that too, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be that guy. <laughs> and then like later on, like I remember I was like in the in like a convention over in Tokyo, and maybe because I because I'm a I'm American, I speak English, and they they speak Japanese. It feels like a little bit easier for me because I'm like. They ain't judging me. They ain't gonna say anything in English. Yeah. It's like I just hold up camera and it's like, can I take picture? And they're like, oh, hi. And I'll be picture, like, oh. please. And it's like, oh, okay. And I just, I don't know. I was more comfortable there compared to an American. Like, go to the expo and it'll be like, oh, um, yeah. I'm just gonna walk away. The thing is, and I can do that. Then it's regardless of gender. Like, even if it's like a. Like a yeah. fat E Honda guy, I'll, I'll still be like eh, I'm walking away. That's a really cool E Honda. It's cool, but okay. Because the problem with me is I don't take as many pictures anymore, and people were like, "Dude, how could you went to Emirates, but how could you take many pictures?" Like, because I feel like I've seen them all. Mm-hmm. Like after going to like I've been going since 2007, so like mm-hmm. every year since 2007 I've been going. So like after like that many years, like I feel like all the really good costumes that I really like, I've already taken a picture of. Yeah, if there's a like, there's a costume I've never seen before, and it's a character I really like. I'll be like, oh, I need to get that. Right. Like I understand that. You I know? feel like I can only take a picture of the same cami like every year, only every so often. Yeah, it's like, do you really need fifty pictures of Kirito from uh, Sword Art Online? Yeah, Kirito. Well, what I like to call him. Or in this case, since Sword Art is still fairly new, like, can you really take fifty pictures of Goku's? Oh yeah. It's like me. It's like. Hey, but this Goku's a little bit taller and more muscular. I'm like, yeah, but I already have so many pictures of Son Goku, you know. <laughs> it's like I, it's like, would I rather take a picture of this Goku or this really badass looking human Gundam? Mm-hmm. Like he legitimately <laughs> made a metal suit of Gundam. <laughs> What's going? On? I know, like, I'm, I have a friend of mine who's obsessed with Sword Art Online, and I when I went with her to Con, like, I watched little, I watched, I think, the first two episodes, and that's it. So I always keep saying, like, hey, it's Kirito. And she's like, um, excuse me, it's Kirito. I'm like, that's what I said, Kirito. <laughs> and, like, I was did this, I did this, and she got so pissed whenever I did this, like, after, like, the first time. Is I, If I see a Kirito costume, I'll, I'll, I'll go over and like, oh, okay, that's an awesome costume. Can I get a picture? And I'll take a quick picture. And I'll be like, thanks. I love the costume. I was like, oh, where'd you get the sword? Did you make it? And I'll be like, saying, and I was like, I'm, oh, cool, whatever. That's awesome. And I'll be like, by the way, freaking, I'm a huge Dot Hack fan. Right. And just walk away. I remember, like... And um, she's like, that was stupid. I'm like, no, you just don't appreciate good comedy. And then I'll go up to you and I'll be like, well, that was, that was a nice joke, Jesse. <laughs> but uh, it's like, I also appreciate a good El Hazard joke. Oh! 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 Snap. It's like, it, it will be like, he got me. <laughs> oh, I just got... I just got otakued. Oh. I just got nerd served. <laughs> yeah. But like I don't I don't know like my my stance on uh, on sword art is like it's an interesting concept. It's been done before, yeah. but um I, I I feel like sword art does not go does not fully take advantage mm-hmm. of what it could do. Yeah. Like because it jumps too fast. Like I I, I want to see some to- some side quests, you know. Because they're like, episode one, they get into the game, okay? Episode two, he's already level 10. Episode, th- episode three, he's already level 20. I'm like, whoa, whoa. How the fuck do you go from, like, one to 10, 10 to 20? He's grinding. It's like, <laughs> I, it's like, and yeah, and they just say, like, oh, he was grinding. It's like, can I see some of this yeah. grinding? It's like, oh, they're just random, like, you know, side quests. Well, if you... I'm like, I want to see some of this side quests. Like people watching this like video games, like MMOs, like, they kind of want to see the process. 
Yeah, like I want to see him go into dungeons and fail and like barely survive. I, like, because I want I've, I've lived story. that before, and I want to you know? see that happen to this guy. And then people are like, "Oh, all it'll be was like him killing a hundred wolves." And I was like, "That could be," but I doubt that he's just sat there for like a whole two months and just fought nothing but wolves. He seems to be a smarter kid than that. Yeah. He says that he's been to this town and he's been to that dungeon. I want to see him go into that dungeon. I want to see him go into that town. Mm-hmm. That he, he said that he's been to before. Guess what? They don't do that. Yeah. They just, they're like, okay. They just give you the important events. Yep. And I'm like, yeah, but what about the stuff in between? I want to see that. I felt that it was a little bit too rushed, honestly. I heard, like, I heard I, the mo- you could have done an entire series on the first MML world, yeah. you know? Well, I heard, I heard in the manga they go a little more in-depth about his, like, side quests and stuff. And that's the thing. It's, in that case, then... then then the anime is not as good, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. That's why usually I stick to manga a lot of times, anyway. But like, isn't Sword Art based on a light novel? Yeah. So the night light novel will probably be the definitive source. Yeah. But I don't speak a Japanese. Yeah, I don't know any. Chinese. I don't read kanji. Mm-hmm. I don't read scribble scrabble. I heard they're making a Sword Online game for the Oculus Rift. I read words, <laughs> not scribble scrabble. I don't. I don't read moon runes. <laughs> I don't read this alien speak. I know I told I told my friend I told... apologize to any Japanese in the in the f- fine language that is uh, Nippon language. Sorry, all five subscribers who are Japanese. <laughs> sorry to people who read katakana, sorry the... hiragami, sorry to the... and uh, kanji. Yeah, sorry to the three to five people subscribed to me who probably speaks Japanese. I know. Um, whenever Star Online the season two came out. I told my friend, and she's like, really? It came out? What, season 2 came out? I'm like, yeah. And I told her, like, it's called, like, Knife Painting Live. And she's like, what? I don't even know what you said. And I'm like, I'm not exactly sure what I said either. Because <laughs> I, told, I told her, like, the first season is called Sword Art Online. And then I told her the second season is called Knife Art Live. And she's like, that wasn't even a joke. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that kind of wasn't even a thing at all. Much like the anime. Yeah. Kind of a thing either. Really? Yeah, basically. Wow! Oh! oh, Zig! Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so, back to... Con- hey, hey, segue, speaking of conventions, Comic-Con happened. Yeah. And there's lots San of... San Diego Comic-Con. Ooh, the SDCC, as the people in the OC like to call it. I... The- in the, we're not even Orange County. we're not in Orange County. Hey, we're like an hour away from Orange County. Yeah, we're yeah. Neither of us live in Orange County. I have an aunt who lives in Orange County. <laughs> yeah, this isn't like oh, we're at the beach. I can punch you and be like, "Welcome to the OC, bitch." No, this isn't. <laughs> hey, welcome to the S well, the S V the S the SFV. Welcome to the San Fernando Valley, yeah. bitch. The SFV. That's what you gotta say. SFV. Okay. Or in, in my case, it will be. Welcome to the San Fernando Valley, eh? <laughs> I can do that. I'm Mexican. I, I would say, hey, watch out. I think half of my subscribers are from the San Fernando Valley. You might have offended some of them. I can say that. I've, I've been born and raised in the San Fernando Valley. San Fernando, born and raised on the playgrounds where I spent most of, spent most of my days. Uh, <laughs> Jesse, have you ever been to uh, San Diego Comic Con? Never. I've never been to a Comic Con. I want to, though. Uh, I've been there like over four times. Yeah, one of these days I gotta go there. The only problem is it's always on like the week of my weekend of my birthday. So I was like, uh, I will never ever go back to San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> I I want to go there at least once. Yeah, I recommend anyone to go there at least once. Yeah. I will. <laughs> blah, 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 Carlos recommends. You know, I won't go there ever again. But uh, I recommend anyone to try. Why won't you go there ever again? Uh, after going there almost like four to five years, you know, um, too many Twilight people. I, I, no, I actually was there. I went there before the Twilight people. Oh, okay, people. good. And then I've been there since the Twilight people. Oh. So I've, I've seen how it was oh, before yeah. and I've seen, I, I've seen the before and the after. So <laughs> the before and after. And I've I, like, I didn't go this year, but I had a lot of friends that did go. Yeah. And they, they've been telling me nothing but terrible stories. Oh, yeah. 
Which we like, definitely got to talk. We have I have some terrible sto- terrible stories to talk about tonight. You know, and I'm not talking about like oh terrible stories as in this this thing that was revealed at Comic Con. No, I'm talking about experiences. Oh, yeah. You know, the the crowdedness, mm-hmm. the just like the loudness. You know, the yeah. just the rudeness, the elbows being hit in the faces of people as they walk by, and the elbows and the, yeah. on the lady. <laughs> Dude. And ow, my puppets hit me in the puppets, and I, ow, I've been pain. <laughs> you you slowly transit to Jerry Lewis there. And um, uh, but yeah, like I don't know, I I I I actually don't care to go. I I I have migrated up north, or in that in up north of San Diego, down south of uh, San Fernando, <laughs> to the Long Beach Comic Con. Oh, the Long Beach Comic Con has been my uh my con for the last two to three now i know I, my first anime expo i went there when i was still at long beach so right i never like I, in fact i'm going once again to the long beach comic con this september because i'm working the table there again <laughs> carlos is going to send his long beach comic con V, go go by my table and maybe I uh, maybe I'll throw candy at you because I do have candy. <laughs> he has candy. Hear that, boys and girls? He got candy. Yeah, I should I should I should I should maybe I, maybe I should go by Long Beach. You know, Con. you know, Say hi. for kids. <laughs> you know, for kids. <laughs> oh man, he has candy. Huh? That's awesome. He also owns a van, but that's unrelated. And I also have a clown suit. But again, unrelated. Unrelated. He also he's he's also a potential felon. But again, an unrelated charges. Uh, punch well, once again unregistered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting dark. No. <laughs> Yay! Before, thanks, loopholes. Before people start unsubscribing to your like your 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 five subscribers are about to hit unsubscribe. Yeah, because if five subscribers are listening an hour and a half in. <laughs> By then they've already tuned out. Yeah, they're already, they're already like asleep at this point. They're like, yeah. what are my Game Grumps is doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, there's some some crazy crap happened at Comic Con this year, which I was gonna discuss about. Um, have you heard about the zombie accident? Yeah, about the the car. Yeah, that one. I was gonna talk about that, where a guy like drove through a crowd of zombies and he told the police he thought they were real zombies and were gonna attack him in his car. Oh, bullshit. But that's what the police report said. He thought that they were actually attacking him. Really? Because, you know, I there was I also... He, I don't know if he said real zombies or not, but he said he thought they were attacking him, so he had to defend himself. Like, I've, I've, I've actually looked at all the, like, comments, all the reports and everything. It's like, first off, the people didn't even attack his car yeah. until he started actually, like, trying to drive hit through him, yeah. the thing. Some people were, like, basically telling him, like, stop, yeah. don't move, there's a parade, yeah. hey... And then there's one guy that sat on the on the hood of the car, but that was after numerous times of telling him not to advance on. Yeah, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, what, if you're if a car is freaking trying to drive through like people I know, I'd, I'd try to stop it too. Yeah, you, know, you don't try to drive through a parade. Yeah. Regardless, if I'm, you know, I'm not gonna be driving a car and I'm see some fucking clowns yeah, going down the, the Fourth of July parade, parade and I'll be like, July. clowns, freak me out. Yeah, the, yeah, like the Fourth of July parade and there's like floats and you're sitting there on the street. Hong Kong, excuse me, I need to get to Starbucks. Hong excuse Kong. me, you bunch of clowns. Oh, yeah. Get off the road. It was in a good time. Like, da, 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 da. I was waving. It was like, Hong Kong, excuse me, you're being rude and you're hogging the street. Share the road. Get off the road, you <laughs> bunch of clowns. Yeah, you're driving and like... Harlequins. You're driving like carnies. <laughs> and they're idiots. <laughs> there you go. But, um, yeah, that was a pretty... Clowns, dressed like clowns. <laughs> but, yeah, like, apparently he he just he, he just revved his engine, went through, uh, an elderly woman lost her arm. Yeah. Well, I heard nobody was actually... No one was killed, though. Like there was... No, no one was killed, but she did, <laughs> like, lose her arm or something. Mm-hmm. Like, he ran over her arm. Yeah, oh, yeah, that... And then, like... I heard that in the initial report, yeah. And then, like, uh, you know, he claims, like, they broke my window. Well, the the video shows they, like, someone threw, like, something at his car to break his window after he ran over the woman. Yeah. And he tried to run, like, speed away. Yeah. Someone then chucked something to break his window. Yeah. You know, they didn't break his window before he ran over yeah. the girl. So you can't be like, oh, they broke my window and I panicked. He was like, no, they broke your window after you ran over the woman. 
Yeah. Which, to be fair, that woman can be a really convincing zombie now. Yeah, here's the thing. It's like Her costume got better. <laughs> that woman and a bunch of pedestrians that were, like, telling them not to, like, not to, not to uh, advance on and stuff were not zombies. They were just pedestrians so, like, watching the, like, the actual, zombie so, walk. So, actual pedestrians got hurt? Uh, they got they were pushed, you know, oh. through like, cause you know, just that woman who was who was run over. She wasn't a zombie. Oh, she was. Oh, she was a pedestrian. Oh, okay. She was a pedestrian Where? on the side watching the, you know, she was watching the parade. That's even worse. Like it was like yeah, one of the zombies. It's like whatever, but it's like a, it's, it's like I in my I defense, just, I thought she was a zombie. Yeah, no, no sorry, she's just old. Yeah, and it's like that's messed up. Like don't you just run over an old person? Because yeah. zombies are crossing the street. And it's like they they were just people trying to stop the car, telling them, "Hey, wait! There's a parade with women and children and baby strollers." Yeah, basically. And like the guy, and I know they were like, "Well, the driver was deaf." No, apparently he wasn't deaf. You know, because there were some reports that it was a deaf driver. Oh. It was like like apparently the child in his car I, was I deaf. Heard, but... I never heard that story. Yeah, I heard the thing on their report that was like, oh, the 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 wife and the husband and the child in the back seat were deaf. Mm -hmm. I was like, all three of them were hard of hearing. Wow, that's a very that's that's a match. That's not a. Very no, good I'm not match saying at all. those families don't exist, but it was like the likely odd of that. But no, apparently people who were there said like, no, the 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 man was not hard of hearing. He was actually even responding back to the people and yelling at the he pedestrian. Away, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, that was a pretty freaking crazy thing. Yeah. So lesson, are we, are we, lesson for that story is don't walk in front of cars dressed as zombies. Lesson to that story is don't drive through a parade. Yeah, definitely. That's also a very good lesson. Don't drive through parades. Don't drive through a parade and don't drive through hospitals. Yeah. Don't drive through anything that has a large group of people. I think, okay, the rule is don't hit people with a car. Yeah, that's a general rule of thumb. If there's a large amount of people, don't try to kill them with your car. Element 12 regardless, of the day. Regardless if they're zombies, clowns, or furries. Oh, okay. I don't know where furries came from, but okay. <laughs> Just anyone that freaks you out don't in hit costume. People, yeah. Yeah. I'm not that guy looks like a giant antelope. Hit him. I'm not a big fan of the whole brony thing, but I'm not going to run over my car. But yeah, was, yeah, that was one of the crazy things I heard. Did you hear about the Adrian Curry thing? Adrian, Adrian Curry. Yeah. Okay, so, the, so you didn't then. Okay. Here's a new story. Here's a new story for you then. What happened at a Comic Con was Adrian Curry. If you've never heard of her, she's she was on America's Top Model. She's a model, but she's also famous for being like a nerd who likes to go cosplaying and go to Comic Cons a lot. Okay. She was there with like a few of her other like model friends who aren't regular cosplayers, but she convince slash force them to cosplay with her anyway mm -hmm. and um she was cosplaying as like 50s wonder woman so she or not 50 woman 50s like cat woman so she had okay. like the gray outfit with the whip and all and she had another friend she was with i forgot who their friend was but the friend who's important was dressed up as um i lost her name but the female from thundercats chitara chitara yeah but, like, kind of a sexy version because she had, like, a bikini and she had, like, the orange skin and everything. Okay. So, like, what happened was, like, obviously, when you're wearing a sexy cosplay, you're going to stop for pictures and blah, blah, blah. And there was a guy who, apparently, during all of this, like, he tried to put his finger down the girl's butt. Whoa! The tiger girl. Whoa. And, like, bad touch. Though. Yeah, that's definitely a bad touch. It's not, like, a grope. It's, like, if she's, like, oh, I touch your boob or I touch your butt, my bad. It's, like, no, he actually... They said he put his finger in there. Whoa. Contact was made with the inter butthole. It was obviously now, she was upset. Her friend was upset, and since she was playing, has playing as, as one as Catwoman, she had a whip. So she beat him with the whip. Good on her. And a lot of people are defending her and saying, "Yeah, that's good," but a lot of people are saying that. That was not her responsibility. She should not have done that. She should have contacted authorities without violence being like happening. Mm. Without, like they said, like she should have not attacked the guy. He she should have stopped him politely and then contacted con authorities. I would have if if I was in her situation, I would give him a couple of whacks with the whip and then call. Yeah, I'm okay, not saying both bludgeon him to death. There's no but... more situation. It's an and. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I would. I think she was in her power. I don't know how badly she beat him. It wasn't like he was rushed to the hospital. Just I heard it was like just like they said, hit in the face, 
three times with the whip. Okay, so that's more of a self-defense yeah. kind of thing. It wasn't like he was like, oh, he died later that day or anything like that. Like, he has a huge scar. Just, which yeah, he, he looks... As a, so. He's not going to be cosplaying as, as realistic Two-Face next yeah, year. That's what he's saying. Like, he has bruises. Freaking turn him to the hospital. He'll be fine. Basically, it's not like a... It's very minor. You know, and I, I like to see him try to defend himself. I got these bruises. What do you get these bruises for? For for molesting a woman. You see how I got up. these scars? Like, how'd you get them? For sticking my finger into someone's asshole that it didn't ask for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a very popular guy. How about you kind of end up in prison where guys are going to stick assholes yeah, in yeah, stick yeah, yeah, your asshole guys, without asking for it? You guys doing that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, The Dark Knight would be a much weirder movie if that's where the explanation of how I got those scars. Yeah. <laughs> you see how I got these scars? I put my finger down a woman's butt. And Batman's like, okay, I wasn't really expecting that, but okay. <laughs> and now I know my lesson. Never to stick fingers in, into someone's bum hole. Okay, well, okay, okay, okay. Well, to be fair, I, did, I didn't think that was a lesson. I really need to be learned. I assume that's just kind of this, this common common courtesy, I would assume. Ah, uh, it was a lesson to me. <laughs> Seriously. I got beat bad. <laughs> really bad. Uh, I have nice. <laughs> um, okay, uh, that's, that's nice to know, but we were kind of trying to enjoy, like, a nice dinner, right? Now, here's the thing about, about Comic-Con. <laughs> yes, about so there's Sunday a Comic-Con, Con. Carlos, who does a um, mean Joker impression, by the way. Yeah. Um, the, the, here's the thing about San Diego Comic Con. Because it has ballooned to the pl- to the size and the thing that it is, it's it's long stopped being a comic book convention. It started being everything. It started becoming more of an attraction. <laughs> and I always said this, that it was like, there's a time when most people are now go to the Comic Con not for the comic. Yeah, just for... Not for... The stuff that's actually there, yeah. you know, they're just there for like, the oh, cool, bro. I heard, I heard they're gonna show some footage of the Avengers Part Two, man. Uh, I don't read comics. Comics is fucking gay, dude. But you know, what? I like the last movie. The last movie was fucking awesome. <laughs> you know, it's like, do you read comics? Do you like comics? No, fuck. Comics are for nerds. <laughs> fuck that. They, like, the movie is great, though. I like the movie. The movie is all right. I'm not saying people can't like the well, movie. You sound, it's like, you sound, you know, that last voice sounded like a surfer bro Christopher Walken. Surfer bro Christopher Walken. <laughs> the last movie was great, though. Yeah. But <laughs> last movie was great. <laughs> but um, that that's the problem. It's like there's a lot of people who go there and it's like there's comics here. You know, like they don't know about comics. They don't do it. And I'm not saying you have yeah. to. There's Comic Con. But you get some some of the worst vile people, people yeah. here who are just here. Some people just go there. It's like, chicks. I just want to see the, the hot chicks half naked. And, we'll see and because of that, it's it like that, that, that happened. Yeah. Yeah. It brings this bad mentality in these people. Because like people who've gone to cons a lot of times, like you and me, mm-hmm. we've, we we know. we've heard the drill. You know, it's yeah. like we know. It's like, yeah, whatever we won't forget. It's much. basic knowledge yeah. almost they, that they teach you in like since kindergarten you know keep your hands to yourself uh if you don't have anything nice to say about others you don't you don't yeah, you don't keep, say it at all i is... don't freaking push don't shove you know don't and it's that per- it, it goes back to what we were saying man some of that these people like okay. to dress like this because they That's want just... to dress like this not because they're trying to make like like Stay. oh come touch me you know they're not saying that mm-hmm. it's like look this girl just want... really wanted to dress up like chitara because maybe she likes chitara <laughs> But I can guarantee you she's not going to be dressing up like a Chitara now because you ruined it for her. Basically, yeah. She probably won't even look at her at Thundercats the same it's way again. Story. It was a friend that she brought along who just, she, he wanted her to be with her just to have fun as a group. Yeah, and you just ruined this experience. Yeah, set that up, yeah. It's like, you're a fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, I'm glad you got beat. I have no sympathy for you. And it, You're like one of the most vilest guys out there. In an interview, she even said like, if, if, cracks like this keep happening it's going to make me not want to go to conventions yeah. but the sad thing is that when i saw that the first comment to, to that was like a facebook response to that like interview it said like that's a lie girls will keep showing up to conventions even if being molested was like a was like a prerequisite to going to the convention and it's guys like that and it's like that's that fucking pissed me off it's like it's not saying like 
just because you wear a sexy costume doesn't mean that gives you like, oh, hey, we can just touch them inappropriately because they're wearing a sexy costume. No. Like that's not it's that it's that comment that the, the guys that go like, well, they don't want to bro. be touched. They wouldn't wear stuff like that. That's a dude, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm like, imagine if if you're dressed up like Conan the Barbarian and like someone want and like some I'll, I I I'm I'm gonna say this just to uh, for for reference. I'm not trying to be offensive, but let's say a uh, a uh, ugly quote unquote ugly fat girl comes up and gropes you and you'll be like oh i don't want to be touched hey. by you it's like well what you don't like different. you know it's the same situation there right yeah. that that woman doesn't want to be touched by by you mm-hmm. it's like why why don't you want to be touched by her just be, you can't be like oh look i'm wearing this conan the barbarian costume but and i'm half naked it doesn't mean i need to be touched by you mm-hmm. well she's half naked doesn't mean she wants to be touched unless you told them like hey in this picture you can hug me or it's like i'll i'll like you know, you give permission. Yeah. In the same vein of that, and when I and when you give permission, it means like you can like put your hand on my shoulder. It doesn't mean hey, I give you permission to touch my come next to me, touch my asshole. There you go, yeah. And in the same vein as that, like er, like almost every year I've been to anime, but like there's always been like a group of guys who cosplay as like the Eevee Illusions from Pokemon. Oh, I think I seen. But those, their right? cosplay is basically just a, a hat with ears on it, mm-hmm. and then a thong that's like the color of whatever Eevee Illusion they are. Mm-hmm. Like, if, like, a dude's, like, Flareon, he's has, like, a red thong and a Flareon hat. Or if you're Vaporeon, you got a blue thong and a Vaporeon hat. It's like, they know exactly what they're doing when they're wearing a thong as their costume. They yeah. know girls are going to swoon and get their attention, and that's exactly what they want. Like, they just, they want... Yeah. After a while, I don't think it's just, oh, it's fun to walk around a thong. They know they're going to get attention, and they're totally okay with that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they want the girls to stick their Hugs fingers them, yeah. in their ass. Like, sometimes they'll ask, like, hey, can I get a hug, or hey, can I put my arm around you while I take a picture, and they're like, yeah, sure. Like, doesn't mean you can touch them inappropriately. Yeah. Maybe they'll be like, hey, can I touch your junk? And they'll be like, oh, sure. All right, if you want. And, and <laughs> like, it's okay with it, then that's one. That's their, okay. That's yeah. their prerogative, yeah. you know? I feel like, I feel like if you go up and start, like, and start tickling his, bu- his, his ball, Zach, <laughs> you know? I think when I conceived this podcast i never thought the term tickling my ball sack would be ever used in an episode well, there we go put that on the on the con- that'll be on the description the episode that comes with tickling ball sack <laughs> watch uh, yeah tune in at an hour and a half and you'll see or hear it for yourself <laughs> and it's a deep conversation it it's a very <laughs> also the- it's just some serious subject matter when we say ball like tickling ball sack exactly. the worst thing is that the article that talks about this the picture they use for the article is those is the girls from like, the the story, but the picture they use is them posing with Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes was there? Yeah, I guess yeah, he was in Expendables three. Oh, Jingling, Jingling. So yeah, Wesley Snipes was there, and the picture they took was them posing with Wesley Snipes. Okay. So the picture, and never like half the comments were like, why is they why is the picture of Wesley Snipes the main article headline? Oh, thank God there weren't any comments of, like, was it Wesley Snipes, the guy who stuck the finger in the butt? That's what somebody said, like, there was no name mentioned, was did Wesley Snipes do it? And they're probably like, no, that's just the picture that he's like, that's kind of misleading. Now I know what he means when he when he kept saying in Expendables 3, jingling, jingling. Oh, poor Wesley Snipes. Oh, poor Wesley Snipes. Oh, how he used to be Blade. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, there was another... Um, there's another, there's another big story that happened, which it just got resolved technically this morning, and it's been a long-running story for the last few days. It's about a girl. You might have... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. About this one. It's about a girl that they found her, like, bloody, unconscious, and missing her ID, like, outside of her... Like, in the back of her where her hotel was. Yeah, like, at first it was... There was a lot of conflicting Yeah, there's so many conflicting things. They said, like... On the street, like on the road, it was originally. Now it's like it's in the back of the hotel, yeah, apparently. Because the the report just said like they like I when I saw the first report, I think it was Sunday is when I first saw the report. Yeah, and it just said like th- they had no information. It's like we found this girl. She was bloody unconscious by the the convention center. We're looking for somebody. Nobody's arrested yet. But we're trying to find somebody. And that's all they right. said. And like around like I think Tuesday, I think there was an update that I heard. Where it was, um, they arrested a photographer. The mm-hmm. photographer, by now, the, the, fact, the photographer was released because they interviewed him and they said that he was there because she had wanted him to take pictures of her. Mm-hmm. But she, she lied about her age. She told the guy she was 20. 
but in reality, she was only 17. She just turned 17 yeah. that weekend. So, like, the last, I, like, I literally was reading, like, an article about this, like, an hour ago before okay. the podcast started. <laughs> and um, apparently, she knew the photographer. Like, they were, oh. they, they, they had, like, before, a, yeah. Yeah, they, they knew, they were, like, a friend of a friend or oh, something. Yeah. And, like, he took, brought her to the convention. Yeah, it's, yeah, he, because he, took, he dropped her off, yeah. Because, like, uh, she wanted to, like, he's apparently a cosplay photographer yeah, to so take pictures of cosplay. Pictures, yeah. And she wanted, like, to, you know, be at the con. And apparently, he claims that at the end of the day, he wanted to, there was a, yeah. she, he wanted to leave, but, he wanted to come home yeah, and take her home. she wanted to stay longer. She wanted to stay longer. There was an argument, and, they, and she, yeah. and she ran. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, he didn't. So he was like, I haven't, I didn't see her for like two hours. Tried to, and then he, the reporter says she, he tried to like call her repeatedly, but she turned off her phone. She yep. he tried to look around for her, but he couldn't find her. And then he he went and started question like asking security of the hotel, like if they've seen her. Yeah. So at the time when like cam when the camera because their surveillance camera has shown like when she falls and everything. Yeah. Uh, he was in the security office, you know, for well over an hour. Yeah. So it's not like people are like, oh, he pushed her or anything like that. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it happened while he was talking to security at the time. Yeah. Which he was, he was, he was put in jail, but he was released without... He's been released on bond. Yeah, yeah that's good. Which I guess that's good because, yeah, if the guy's telling the truth, yeah, he had nothing to do with it. Yeah, apparently, like, at first, you know, this story has become less... Uh, less vile as yeah. as, as the story because yeah, the at second first, it came out, everyone's like, "Oh, she she was raped and beat up and left on the side." Yeah, of the road. and then and then now we're learning more, and it's that like, okay, it's starting yeah. to learn less about that. Yeah. Apparently, it's fell. Okay, uh, apparently it just seems like, uh, for lack of a, a better term, stupid girl does something stupid and cracked her head. Yeah. It says she fell from like a height of like six feet or something, according to like, yeah the thing said. Like she fell, like she was climbing a fence or something, and then like she slipped and fell. She hit her head. Hit her head. Found her with it by the pool, I think, right? Yeah. Or that, yeah. Maybe she was trying to climb into the pool. Yeah. You know, isn't there a gate area usually in sense sometimes to some pools? Yeah. Wait. But I guess depending on who's there, like usually it's either unlocked or locked at all times, or maybe it was because like, it wasn't like at two or in the morning or some shit like that. I don't remember what specific times were. Like they are. I think it was like nighttime. Yeah. Like, and that's why she she tried to climb. Yeah. I don't know if she tried to climb into the pool, but I heard she was trying to climb something, and then she like Slip, cracked her head. Cracked her. So I'm now picturing like this this girl dressed up like Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, apparently, it's supposed to be like sexy Roger Rabbit, according to what I heard. Sexy Roger Rabbit, yeah. whatever. Um, trying to hop into like maybe she's like I'm gonna take a dip on this pool. I don't care. I'm Hasht 17. Hashtag I can... YOLO. Yeah, hashtag YOLO. I'm not saying she's really at fault. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying from the information at, presented at this time. Yeah, there's no like perpetrator. You know, uh, it, it seems like maybe she was climbing, trying to climb this the fence, maybe try to hop into the pool, because maybe they close the pool for the night. Yeah. Because they do that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, usually places they close off the pool, they don't want freaking people going in the middle of the night swimming around the pool. Yeah, because at, yeah. sometimes, you know... Somebody, people, if somebody slips and drowns in the middle of the night, then they'll be... Yeah, because they don't have a lifeguard at, at night at all hours, you know? They have it there during waking hours. Yeah. So, so maybe she was like, I'm going to go... In, go for a dip at night and then like she's trying to climb over that vent slips because apparently i'm now hearing also that she was intoxicated oh i didn't hear but i said that i heard that they tried to claim that he gave her alcohol right that's what i heard i didn't hear that she had alcohol in her but like and like she slipped and she cracked her head mm -hmm. on the thing yeah. and like this does not take away from the fact that she did suffer yeah uh like critical harm like she got some brain hemorrhaging yeah. in the blood and stuff because she basically cracked her head yeah. like against the well wall. i heard she's stable and just fine right now she's stable now uh, after almost a week of critical condition kind yeah. of thing but you know and then it's like she kind of problem is like she 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 suffered a brain injury so yeah. she her memory's a little fuzzy yeah i dig it i think it's like so, it's, it's it started as like a, oh she's a cosplayer with a sexy outfit so immediately we're looking for somebody who might have violated her and, and hit yeah. her up and to the point now, I feel if this man is 100% innocent, yeah. I feel a little bit bad for this yeah, guy. I feel super he's been, bad for this guy. He's just for like, the last week, he's been basically 
railroaded by the community because you've yeah. seen the comments. Yeah, people hate people it. Were, yeah. They want to like, this guy should be dead and hung up. He should yeah. be castrated. Like, all the yeah. worst stuff when they labeled him a, a child molester. Yeah, basically, you know? yeah, basically, yeah, child. Yeah. And, and the thing is, if, if he is 100% innocent, I'm saying, yeah. and he didn't do anything wrong, this may have just ruined his entire life yeah, be, and career. Well, because, yeah, he's a photographer. Yeah, but, and you know, like now when even if he is proven one hundred percent innocent, that story's gonna be online. There's gonna be some blog, some journal that Google doesn't even go, Oh, you're that guy. You're that guy. You have to explain now. The funny thing is if they let you explain, because some people will be like, Oh, it says here you're a rapist, but you know, no one would maybe that guy who like won't won't do any follow up checks to see if there was any uh retractions, he'll be like, Well, there I went I did the first Google search and there's like some some report because this guy reported on his Tumblr but never reported the 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 updated oh. information the follow up. Mm -hmm. So it says here you're a rapist. Yeah, I'm not gonna hire you. Yeah, because the problem was like obviously like you you know Yaya like I follow her on Facebook, and she originally posted like when when the first like a while back like the second update when they arrested the photographer, and they said like and so far they didn't officially know if they did it yet but they arrested him and were questioning him, mm -hmm. and she when she put up the report and said like I feel she her her comment she replied with it and she said like i feel bad for like the girl this happened to but i feel really bad for the photographer he's an honest to goodness guy he wanted to help her out he wanted to like take her to this convention and because of what's going on he's been this might destroy his career completely yeah and she posted that like a legit thing but people were attacking her because like how dare you defend the how dare, how dare you defend the villain in this case how dare you defend the person who's at wrong and it's like, right now, they probably feel stupid because he's not wrong. At least yeah. so far. Like, I've heard of actual of actual um, of actual events of, of times when um, they're like such vile things you hear about like women who basically like, who basically break up with their boyfriends yeah. and to spite them, they will claim rape. Oh, yeah. Just so that yeah. just so, just just so, so that trouble, yeah. Just so they have to be like registered and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so that even afterwards, you know, and then they'll retract the they'll retract the the report. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, once he's been labeled that, you know, it's gonna be there just to be on his record, mm -hmm. just to mess up his entire life. And it's like now for the rest of his life, some Facebook entry, some blog is gonna say it's like John Johnson from Birmingham. <laughs> this will be fucked up if there is a John Johnson from Birmingham. Uh, it's John Johnson from exact, Birmingham. He's listening to the exact podcast going, I'm offended by that. I'm bastards. I was listening to this eagerly, and now you, you offended me. Sorry, John Johnson. Sorry, John Johnson from Birmingham. <laughs> from Birmingham. <laughs> John Johnson from Birmingham, Alabama is a is a rapist. Birmingham, Alabama. I was thinking Birmingham, UK. Uh, <laughs> half of my, my subscribers are from the UK anyway. Really? A good chunk are either from the local area or from the UK. All right. Nigel Cumberbun has <laughs> has been <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Coverburn is a known rapist and sex offender by Yorkshire. I need that to, I need that to be a character in something. <laughs> Excuse me, I am Nigel Cumberbun. <laughs> From Yorkshire, is a known rapist and child molester. <laughs> Hello, young child. I am Nigel Cumberbun. Would you like to come in my my van? I have a bag of jelly babies with your name on it. And now, like, there's Nigel from like Yorkshire. It's like sipping his tea as he was hearing this, and he's like spits it out. Like, <laughs> what? My word! Oh, oh, I am. I am offended. I'm highly offended. I should hide the van full of children now. <laughs> you Yanks have offended me severely. Hi, Yanks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude. Like, you you've heard of them. you hear these kind of things where it's like. <laughs> but yeah, but seriously, this is very tragic. <laughs> To the point where it's like it's scary. Yeah, it's like, dude, I don't know. Mm -hmm. you, you want stuff like yes, that? It's on there. You don't... Single, always have been single, and probably will be for a while. The wrath of a woman scored, right? I've dealt with like friends who have been in relationships. Like, I don't want any of that. And then also those those weird pictures. Make sure you never take pictures when in compromising positions. Yeah, I just think of the freaking overprotective girl friend meme. That's why I also don't believe in dick pics. Do not say no to dick pics, guys. Who thought that was a good idea? 
Like what it's man? What who did, who invented the dick pic? Was that freaking like to, the guy who invented like the camera? It's that was the second picture ever taken. Was a dick. It pic. was yeah. Freaking Thomas Edison just sent a dick pic to like a lady friend of his. Some guy, you know, probably a college guy. It's like, hey man, hey bruh. You know, hey, well, hey, hey, my cell phone has a camera now, bruh. Hey, shit, I'm gonna take a picture of my dick. Hey, I'm gonna show this chick what I'm what, what I'm carrying downstairs. Hey, Jenny, check out my check out this picture. It's crazy. <laughs> oh shit, it's my dick. You, you turned you turned back to the Christopher Walken dude, bro. <laughs> I thought that that was amazing. And then Jenny will be like, "Oh, that's the most adorable little thing I've ever oh, seen. Dude. I give it a it's little so cute." Now stop showing me this baby dick and show me your picture of your real dick. Oh, that's messed uh, up. And then all of a sudden he just follows it by a delete and sad face. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Snapchat is like, oh, hey, it's a messaging system where you can take pictures that are easily deletable. And it's like, yeah, it's basically this dick pic machine. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I never used to have chat, Snapchat because like, I figured that if I did, that's all I'm going to see. <laughs> It's like was it chat roulette? Is that there you go, Omegle chat roulette. That roulette, that was too. And it's like whoever thought like, like a picture. It's like why send it to them? Because if you break up, then she's just gonna have a picture of your dick that she can just do whatever she wants with. Yep. And like for me, I feel like you should never take a picture of your private parts unless you're a nude model. I guess. Yep. That, I guess that's legit because that's a part of your career. Is if you're a nude model. But it's like a very, very minor, very small group of people. That's why I don't take pictures of my dick. I just make elaborate sculptures of my dick, and I just send pictures of my sculpted dick. No, I just I send the sculpture. I send the sculpture by carrier. <laughs> like a package will arrive. UPS, in a crate. UPS will show up at like a girl's house. And it's and like, it's like, like Carlos sent me a package. I wonder what it is. It's a package of his package. It's a dick in a box. That's how it's romantic. That's how the song came up. It's it's made out of marble too. I'm a I'm a true Renaissance man. I I go classic. That's that's what freaking Michelangelo did. <laughs> I'm gonna sculpt my penis and send it to my true love. It takes twenty years for me to finish one, but it's like there you go. <laughs> hey, according to my last girlfriend, she said it was worth the wait. <laughs> But yeah, another thing is all these big reports came out from like Comic Con, and there's a report that came out recently which was interesting, very very mm -hmm. interesting. Is that obviously people are talking to Comic Con staff because like with all the all three of these big stories happening during Comic Con, they're having issues about like what security measures they are personally taking, and the Comic Con staff they made a statement that said that they don't want to bring up the issue of harassment because if they bring up the issue of harassment people will think that there's an issue with harassment. <laughs> That's the exact wording they used. We don't want to talk about the rape because then people will think there's rape going on. I don't want to talk about the cockroaches running around the kitchen because if I do, people will think there's cockroaches running around my kitchen. Now, if you need me, I'll, I'll be the... carried away by these cockroaches. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it sounds like I'm bringing a red TV card, dude. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, what kind of response is that? Like the, it's not it's not the ignore it and it'll go away problem. It's not like oh whatever. You know like some like granted. Yeah. I don't want the... to tell my girlfriend I have herpes because if I do she might think I have herpes. herpes. <laughs> but here's the thing about like the the sexy Roger Rabbit. It didn't happen at the con. Right. It apparently it happened off the con. The the zombie walk what? didn't happen at the con. It, it was like a block yeah. of yeah. Now the only real incident has been this, you know, Adrian Curry thing, yeah. Yeah, you know, fingering the butthole. That's the only one, you know. Yeah. The thumb up the butt is the only one that so far has been in there, and like. Actually, um, excuse me, I read the report. I believe it was index finger. No. Index finger is like it wasn't a thumb. <laughs> yeah. It was a pinky. Yeah. It was half a pinky, you know. Half a pinky and a ring. That's all it was. Half a half the pink in the stink. You gotcha. <laughs> but um. The whole thing is that... I hope you enjoy this episode before my channel gets banned. Yeah, I should have said that. I'm very offensive. Um, I'll put a warning, warning. Carlos sent stupid content. things. 
I'm going to put a little part at the end where I'm going to go, warning, Carlos says terrible things sometimes. Viewer, you, listener discretion is advice. You came in to listen to Zelda Hyrule Warriors, and then you got, like, the Mexican <laughs> Howard Stern. Yeah. And, and, oh, uh, we got but, a caller. <laughs> we got a caller here. <laughs> Who's calling me at, four, at a quarter to three in the morning? That's weird. What you bitching about now? <laughs> um, in the bottle. That's what we're bitching about. But here's the thing, um... Yeah. yeah, like, I, I think I remember hearing something about this, about how, like, Emerald, like, the Emerald, uh, Co- Emerald Comic Con or something, they put up these posters about, like, you know, like, harassment, you know, about sexual harassment yeah. and stuff like that. Like, and they're like, well, the, 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 the convention doesn't put up these posters. And it's like, well, some of this you kind of think you should be, like, yeah. expected. Yeah. You know? I'm sorry. It's like maybe uh, maybe we should put up giant banners that, that with like where it says no means no. You know, don't touch. You know what? The I th- body. I think in the same instance, outside of every store, there should be a big banner that says "Please do not rob us," because people yeah. need to be reminded, like, "Hey, I'm not supposed to rob this store." Okay. You know, um, it just this is a little bit off topic, but it, it just reminds me of, of something. Um, hey, a week wait, ago, hold on. We never go off topic on this show. We never go on topic. But it we kinda, just go on topic. <laughs> we'll go back on and we'll swing in. It just reminds me that a week ago, my my mother Ooh. was babysitting uh, my nephew for my for my sister. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. And um, and my mom was like, okay, I'm watching the kid. Uh-huh. And apparently she decided to give my nephew a haircut. Oh. Okay. While she was babysitting um, my sister's kid, mm-hmm. so when my sister got back to to pick up her her son, she found her son with a haircut. Oh, my sister did not want my nephew to get a haircut. So my mom, so my sister was like, "What did you do? You cut his hair?" It's like his hair was a little long. I thought it was you know it was cut a little hot. It was like, and apparently. My sister and my brother-in-law wanted his hair to grow long. They wanted him to have longer hair. So yeah. my mom was in the wrong cutting the hair. Yeah. And then we were like, I was like, Mom, you know you should not have cut his hair. It's like, why? It was hot. It was like, you should not have cut his hair. Well, she never told me not to cut his hair. It's like, you should have asked first. And I was like, well, normally when someone drops off a kid to a babysitter... They don't expect a haircut, yeah. They don't expect a haircut, you know? <laughs> they don't go to Supercuts expecting them to wash their kids. You know, if I drop off if I drop off a kid... If I had a kid and I drop him off at daycare, I don't expect to pick up my kid and have a tattoo on him. <laughs> that sounds like... And, you know, I don't expect I them fuck to, bitches. You know, and then the, the daycare, in their defense, they'll be like, well, when you dropped off your kid, you didn't say I couldn't give them a tattoo. Oh, well, it's like, motherfucker, I didn't expect you to give them a tattoo. To be I fair, expected you to, to put them to sleep and let them play with, like, a fucking, like, stuffed animal and give them some cookies. That's what I expected you to do. I saw Not him give and this guy I saw him and I figured he needed a tattoo. tattoo. There's some things that are just... You know, you don't, you're, they're unspoken yeah. of because it's not supposed to do. And because of that, it's like that thing on Comic Con. Going now, we're serious back to Comic Con. Yeah. It's like, well, it's like, like, there. I don't think there should have been, it's like, it's like, well, there was no sign that said I couldn't put my finger into their butt. It was like, motherfucker, I don't think you were, <laughs> it's expected. Do you go around putting your finger into people's butts? Regardless if it's like a woman, do you just go like, hey, there's an old man by this bus stop. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check his oil. You know, he's a quarter low. <laughs> is that your thing? Is that what you do? Guess what? That dude's going to probably punch you, too. And you wonder why you get beat up. Why do people keep hitting me? I just want to put my finger in buttholes. Why don't you put your finger in your own butthole? <laughs> I do. It lost its, it lost the passion. There's no more well, feeling. I'm sorry. You know? I want to feel something. <laughs> why don't you be that guy who put a mason jar up there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, yeah, that's or, a video of that. I don't recommend anyone to watch that. That's definitely not safe for work. Those are the guy from China who put an eel up his butt. Ooh, but um, <laughs> Ooh. but the thing is, it's like these things. That it's like, oh, uh, like should the San Diego Comic Con put up these posters? Maybe, uh, maybe in like the, the maybe a few posters, you know? Maybe, maybe like in the very entrance, like the first hall you walk. Yeah, you have like a, I don't, I don't, have I don't like a few posters that... to say. By the way, here's a few rules. No, uh, be courteous to your neighbor. Um, be respectful. Um, be polite. Don't Ask stand, people. Don't stand in the marked areas. Um, don't put fingers in buttholes. 
Yeah, you know, it's not like, I don't ex- like I don't expect them to throw like a giant billboard across all downtown San Diego. It's like <laughs> while going to the con this year, no fingers in butts. I want to see that on an airplane. <laughs> like you know, I mean, it was like a big billboard, big like flying sign, like don't put your finger in her butthole. Yeah. And it was like be, at the same that'll time, be the message on the airplane as the stewardess is coming in. And it's like. <sighs> All right, people, we're we're loading into uh, beautiful downtown San Diego. Please uh, put your uh, seats in an upward position. And by the way, while you're visiting San Diego, make sure to uh, see the local sights, the sounds, the beaches, and the local eateries. And while you're here, if you're com- if you're attending the San Diego Comic Con, please remember there are no fingers in other people's buttholes unless they're consensual. And just because they were a cosplay doesn't mean it's consensual. No fingers in butts. Once again, do not put the fingers in the butts. Is that is that the con or can I can I can, is it I, I feel I have a feeling I'm gonna get a sexual harassment um letter in the mail whenever we land. And it's like the guy's like <laughs> on the plane. He was like, oh man, the guy's, I had this. Yeah, the pilot's like, oh, that mean uh, I should I should take my finger out of your butthole. <laughs> no, put that in there, John. <laughs> but uh, but it's <laughs> your lady voice also got super deep. Go ahead, John. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, honey. Put it in there. No, but, um, oh, you're post off. There's a guy in the in the in the in the front seat. He's like, "Oh man, my hand was so ready and everything." Oh, well, okay. I gotta save this for the for the New York Comic Con. I'll man. save it for Long Beach then. I'll save it for Long Beach. And the guy's like, "Are we still gonna get our in-flight movie?" I'm, I'm still waiting for them to play Inception. Yeah, the inside move the in, in, in the in-flight movie is Freddy Got Fingered, <laughs> but not in the bunghole. That's like the, they added that title. It's a sequel. It's a lesser known sequel. Freddy <laughs> got fingered. <laughs> I mean. And oddly enough, it does relate to this comic, to this this thing, because there's a line in Freddy Got Fingered where it's like, he's a molester, Dad! He's a child molester! There you go. Yeah, everything ties into Freddy Got Fingered. This is the Freddy Got Fingered podcast. Yeah, well, episode. welcome to the Finger Cast, everybody. Welcome to the Finger Cast. The Finger Cast, that's the new podcast where we talk about the, the deep intellectual meanings behind the Freddy Got Fingered movie. Ugh, this podcast got so derailed. Oh, we also talk about the extended mythos, so we talk about the novels, the comics. We're going off the rails on this comic con. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't even think we built rails yet. <laughs> Like the rails are like a like a guy going. You need to go that way. You gotta keep going straight. And like the train just immediately takes goes like to the right. How did we like, start? The guy's like, um, I guess you were supposed to go straight, but I guess that's okay too. We we went from Zelda to Adina Sarkeesian to Kavika to fingers and butts. <laughs> we went to video game related to video game related to slightly video game related to not even remotely video game related. By the way, if you're just watching and this is the first video from my channel you're watching, welcome to my channel. My other content has less fingers and buttholes involved. So I guess that's a plus. Unless you're into that. And right now <laughs> comment have... down below and maybe I can have some more finger butthole action. There's a Korean if arcade you, game if... about putting fingers in buttholes, so I can make If you like what you hear, give a thumbs up, but not up <laughs> oh, people's God. butts. <laughs> Down in the comments. Get, have thumbs up this video. Not my butt. But but not up butts. Just up the video. Yes. But not up the video's butt. Not consensual. Oh my god! I think the video does not consent, regardless if there's a picture of Chitara in the video. I, I think we should we should stop before we get in too much trouble. We're getting so bad. <laughs> We're so canceled. Da, 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 da. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? Well, I just came to hear about the latest Pac-Man news. Some guy's like, oh, I just want to hear an update. I want... Okay, if you watch this whole thing... Like, I think this is over two hours at this point. So if you watch this whole thing and you're listening right now, please comment below and say, I survived this week's episode, this month's episode of Element Cast. And all I got was a lazy, this lousy t-shirt with a finger in a butthole. Please put comments related to that. I want, like, oh, you know, like, those, like, when they have, like, the don't do this, they have, like, a stick figure, like, and with, like, a line over it? 
I want a stick figure with like a, a guy like with his like stick figure like hand on like another like woman stick figure's like butt, and I have like with a line through it says do not, <laughs> just with a line through it, just no. <laughs> I want it to be a t-shirt, just no. Just don't do that. No. Just it's no. it's not. Why is that your idea of fun? Like okay, legit. Like I like girls, and I like okay. butts. Okay. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> but why is that your first course of action? Is oh, I'm definitely gonna put my finger in her butt. Like what? I want to know what this man's like thought process was. Yeah. Like what sort of failed life choices did you go through that made it so that's the choice that you made that day? Like you went to is that is that why he went to Comic Con? Did he go there saying like he woke up like the 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 alarm rings? He's like brushing teeth like I can put some fingers in the buttholes today. And this he woke up he was like today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day. Today's the day I finger Chitara. Like for months he's been planning this. Like he, he has a notebook and he has a checkoff list. He's like fingered Catwoman, fingered Wonder Woman. He goes, I, oh, I need a, I need a Chitara. He goes a cup. It's on the list. Yeah. He has a bucket list. All right. More like a a finger list. Like you know what ha- Did you hear what happened at MAS for last year? Speaking of sexual harassment and butt. Oh, did someone get? Did someone finger the Oscar yes. Oscar from like? <laughs> no, it's not involving fingers or butts, luckily. But something right. bad did happen. Um, there was a guy who made a video, which it, it was only on YouTube for about maybe a few hours, and it was immediately deleted. There's a guy who made he called it a prank video, mm-hmm. and he wore a costume like a elaborate costume, and he went around getting hugs from like different cosplayers. But what he did was he put a GoPro and he hid it in the shirt of his camera and shirt in his shirt. So, like, the video he has is, like, mostly just, like, close-up of, like, girls' boobs, like, pressing against the camera. And he got, he got arrested for it. And he got blacklisted. Like, he's not allowed to enter that convention or any convention in California for the rest of his life. Well, yeah, because especially half the girls there are probably underage. Yeah, because so. there's no consensus. He just, hug, he just wanted hugs, and he gave people hugs, and that was the video he made. Was, was he one of those guys who had the, the free hug sign? I don't... They never showed the guy. Like, you never see the guy in the video. You just see, like, from the view of his shirt. Because you always see people with the that, that sign. Well, and, like, free hug. Not anymore. They ban signs. Yeah. And that's where they ban signs because of that. They said, according, according to, like, the, the, the words of the rules, a sign that says free hugs counts as prostitution. There's actually a rule for the free hug sign. Yeah. You can't have signs. That, or you just can't have signs, period. Unless it's a very specific sign for a cosplay. Like, you're cosplaying as a character who a part of their outfit, like, has, like, a big a sign. sign on their back or something. Like, that's okay. But not just, like, a thing they can just, like, you can't just bring a sign. Right. Because, mm-hmm. like, I remember the first year I went, like, signs were allowed, so a lot of people had signs of, like, free hugs or, like, I remember there's a girl who's, like, who, Hinata's, like, we'll give free hugs for Pocky kind of thing. But that's prostitution, so they uh, they banned that. So I'm like, oh, that's sad. So what if you wear the T-shirt that says "Free Hugs"? I, I guess that's fine. <laughs> You're like loophole. That's fine. Hey, I have a shirt that says "Free Hugs" and has a picture of that snowman from Frozen on it. So that's just a character. That's like a cosplay. I like warm hugs. What can I say? Oh, that reminds me one time I was at the San Diego Comic Con and I was walking through the con and there was a guy, I think it was a guy, I don't know who was in the costume, <laughs> but there was someone dressed up like Pedo Bear. Okay. And like, as I was walking by, I was like, hey, that's Pedo Bear. And like, all of a sudden, this like mother with a child a mother. walks by and she's like, oh, look, look, honey, a teddy bear. <laughs> And like it's like, do you want to hug the teddy bear? And like, and like the mother told the little girl to go hug the the giant teddy bear. Mm-hmm. And like, pedal bears like turns and it's like, oh, and he goes to hug the girl. Yeah. And the mother's trying to take a picture of her little like six year old girl yeah. hugging this giant bear. Yeah. 
And I just walk by. I'm like, oh, that ain't right. Uh, what, it, 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 <laughs> and, the, and the mother just kind of gave a look, like, kind of confused. Like, what? Uh, what, what do you mean? <laughs> like, when she goes on the internet, she's going to be so upset. Yeah, she's going to be so freaked out by that yeah. the type of teddy bear you're making your daughter hug. Well, she's going to post it on Facebook and go, hey, everybody, look, my girl had a great time at Comic-Con. And one of the friends who was like, you know, is like, by looks of it, she didn't. I was like, uh, next time, check the bears that you hug. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a word of advice, Mothers of America. Yeah. Make sure you screen check, you do a screen background yeah. of the bears that you have your daughters hug. Yeah. Bernstein bear, yeah. Winnie the Pooh, uh, Brother bear. They're good bears. Yeah. That's what... Pedo bear, <laughs> bad bear. Yeah. When I first freaking went to Comic-Con, when, not Comic-Con, when I first went to MX, when I started doing MX regularly, I was, like, still, like, in, I, I was still in high school, so, like, I was younger, so, like, my mom went with me the first, like, few years, and after a while, I was kind of on my own. And I talk about these cool people, uh, these, like, pictures, like, oh, here's these cool cosplayers, and she's like, oh, they're probably pedophiles. Like, I'm 23. Why is pedophiles the thing I have to worry about? I'm, I've, I'm too old for them. I'm, I've grown up beyond the range of their attractiveness. Like, if a pedophile goes after me, he's not a pedophile. Or if he is, he's just really bad at being one. Like, I don't look like a child. I have a freaking beard. Yeah, you're tall and you have a beard. I'm six foot one, freaking 200, I'd say, I think I was 202 pounds last time I weighed myself. Freaking, I have a full beard, long hair, freaking, and it's like, if you think I'm a child, then you are a very bad pedophile. If anything... Or you're just a, the, or you're just a homosexual man who needs a hug. If anything, sadly, you don't, you no longer look like the, the bait of a pedophile. Yeah. You now look like what the <laughs> would be. <laughs> That's why I don't wear weird costumes. Now you don't, now they ain't suspecting you like, that kid's gonna get molested by a child molester. Now people are like, that kid could be a child molester. <laughs> Or you probably say he's just a stoner. Yeah, the more likely. Oh, uh, he's just a stoner who wants to buy some anime porn. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I need to buy my new issue of Body Transfer. Thank you very much. Uh, it's just one of those Utaku kids that's here to buy Pocky, a <laughs> cheap sword, and a copy of La Blue Girl. <laughs> hey, that little blue girl is pretty rare. If you got and that's, that's when you're like, shows what you know. I bought that last month. <laughs> hey, ha. Huh. Huh. Jokes on you! I already own all of all of La Blue Girl. I have come here to buy the new season of Kill a Kill. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I come to buy ramen. I've already have a lifetime supply of Pocky. Have you guys seen Kill a Kill yet? It's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I think before the FBI comes after us, we should probably end this episode. Yeah, well. All right. If like I said, if you if you're still listening at this point, please put a comment and say I survived whatever this was. But yeah, that or just give thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up in the comments, not in butts. <laughs> that's what that's to be our tagline. Thumbs up the comments, not the butts. Without consent. <laughs> yeah, but we're giving you consent. Yeah, in parentheses. To put, yeah, in parentheses, up. unless we give you consent to thumbs up our butts. But we're giving you consent to give thumbs up to this video. It's this video, but not our butts, though. At least mine, anyway. I'm not sure how Carlos feels about his butt region. Oh, uh, that's that's an exit, never an entrance. You heard it here, folks. 